feels weird not having a drink. Just that safety net. Oh, you're probably going to need this one. We're back. Hi. Hi, everybody. We're finally back. It's been a while. Oh my gosh, it's just been a it's month. It's been like four weeks. We were just talking about how long it's been. Like, it's been almost a month. Mm -hmm. She's like, four weeks. I'm like, it's been a month. Exactly. Just crazy. 28 days since we were here oh last. My God. We remodeled. We did some serious renovations this morning. <clears throat> and that's why it's taken us till three o'clock to start podcasting. <laughs> yeah, and we kind of slept in. A little bit. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's but been slow moving. Welcome but. to the Girls in the Yarn Cafe. Oh, what cup is this? I don't even know. Mom. I don't know. I have no idea. You guys. It's 30. We're in the 30s. We're in our late 30s. I think we're, I think it's like the 37th. I think it's the 38th. 38th cup. You'll see. Yeah. Does you, it even matter? No. No. No, it doesn't matter. We're here. We're back. It's great. Yep. Yep. And so my name is Tristan. I'm Christy. I'm Christy's daughter. I'm Tristan's mom. For all those who don't believe us, I really did come from this. This is true. It's it's a thing. Everyone yes. who meets us in real life, they're like, wait, you're her mom? It's like, yeah. It's a we surprise. talk about it every week, guys. I'm like, you clearly don't watch us if you don't know that. <laughs> or they fast forward because we're really boring at the beginning. And they're Maybe. like, let's just look at the knitting. <laughs> and chattery. But I know. But we're glad to stop by. I'm the dyer behind Yarn Cafe Creations. I'm the dyer behind Dragonhorn Yarn. Separate companies. But we have been doing stuff together. Yeah, we've lately. been doing events together. Um, that's a really great point, though, because that comes up maybe once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. um, people saying, oh, you can just ship your my order with your mom's because I ordered from her shop, too. And it's like, oh, I'm so glad you did. But for we taxes don't live by each other and things like that, we can't. So Yep, and we, we don't live that close to each other, honestly. No, I no. mean, we live close. I We're travel close. like... It's about 15 to 20 minutes to get to your house every day. Yeah. And you're off yeah. the beaten path. You're not on my way to work no. or anything. Mm -mm. So anyway, but we appreciate yeah. all of you tuning in. We yeah. appreciate you being here. We're happy to be back. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about. We have been busy. Oh my gosh. Doing stuff. It's been so much fun. We've gone to three events in the past month. Yes. Because Needles Up was a separate event all to its own. It's its own and thing. It. It's its own thing. Yeah. So yeah. we'll, maybe we'll, wait, no, we have some admin things to go through. And yes. Then, we'll, then we'll talk about our trip. Wait, no. Which one? It's been so long. Which order do we do it in? Usually I say, how's, how's your week, week? mom? How was your yeah. week? How was your last four weeks? The last, they were great. Did some traveling. Me too. Did a show. Been there the whole time. Me too. Worked. Yeah. You didn't work. No. Well, I did. You did, but I not, not in the same way I did. But yeah, let's uh, let's talk about needles up first. Should we, or should we get some of our? Admin? Okay, let's get that stuff out. Oh my gosh, with us. it's been a minute, guys. Come you can, on. You, okay, we're gonna go now. That's okay. it. We're messing up. In our so. Optum notebook. Okay, in our Optum special notebook. So intro, Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Needles up. Our show. We're gonna skip that for a minute. Um, so we have a couple, I, we have one great big thing coming up here in the next few weeks. On June yes. 1st, mm -hmm. we're going to be releasing our advent calendars. And I don't know if you want to commit to your other thing that you're doing. Well, Tristan and I are collaborating together on the Harry Potter, uh, advent calendar. So Christmas at Hogwarts year two. Yes. Second year is year two. Yes. And, um, we were originally going to uh, release that in July. Mm -hmm. We decided to do it in June just so we can get a jump on it. Yeah, because we, we have a lot of events coming up this year that we weren't planning on and a lot of right. bigger collaborations that we're working on. So yeah. we kind of need to order all the supplies in now, get that all ready and going yeah. so that we can have it prepped and ready to send out to you on time. And then I would like to do another advent calendar. Yeah. If there's enough interest. I don't even know if there'd be enough interest, but... Oh, I think it's a great idea. Because I'm passionate about it, I would love to do a Stranger Things advent calendar. And both calendars would be 24 mini skeins, mm -hmm. and they're, they're each 20 grams. And then a full skein of 100 grams. On day 25. On day 24. 25. 25 is Christmas. And then on day 25 in the Harry Potter one, there's also a nice gift. Mm -hmm. And then we're still ironing out the details on what, if if there's going to be other things included on days 1 through 24. We're, yeah. And if so, what they'll be, because we were trying to keep the price the same. The as same as last year, just to make yep. it easier for everyone. We would hate to jack up the price well, or anything. Because so. the price of wool has gone up over it the has. year mm -hmm. slightly. 
And so we are trying to balance it out um, by having a nice gift in there, but not a bunch of junky things. Yeah. Which last year we did not put junky things in there no. at all. No. Um, but we got to find the right price points. And, and so we yeah. think in the Harry Potter one, there's going to be mm. other little gifts because we found some really cool stuff. Um, and then the Stranger Things uh, thing will also be the same. Yeah. It'll be some other Let's little see gifts what throughout you can do it. On it. Mm-hmm. 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 So um, I, if I decide to do that, I'll probably post those sometime in June. Okay. I probably not the same day as the Harry Potter one. Yeah. It'll be sometime in June. Uh, yeah. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment. Or you can private message me and let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. in That would be really cool. Yeah. And then for the Harry Potter Advents, how we're doing it this year. Because I did it alone last year. My mom helped me out getting them ready and prepped and everything. But we wanted to do this together this year. So we're each going to list 40 of them in each of our shops. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the exact same. Because you're going to die, like, say, days 1 through 12. I'll be doing the rest through the 24th. And so we're going to have those same colorways regardless. And we're just going to collaborate and put those together for the complete Advent. So you'll be able to pick your house and your skein at the end and your goodie. The gift that the you'll, gift get, that you'll on get on Christmas stage Day. on Christmas. Those will be coordinating with your house. Everything yes. else will be the same as each other. Yep. Through the advent. Yep. Just make and it easier stra- for us. The Stranger Things one, I think they'll all be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yep. Okay. And then we do have a couple knit alongs that are going on and one that just ended. We just Yay. finished the Ninil Chick or Ninil Chick, however you want to say we it. We haven't finished that one yet. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's another one that I have a hard time saying those, but the Shusui Shusui Shrug, Shrug along. along that was co-hosted with Hannah of Craft Tea Chat Podcast, Allison of Lofty Loops Yarns Podcast, and Meg of Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits Podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, it all ended on the 14th, I think, uh-huh, I and we had a bunch of activity, yeah. and I'm so excited about it. It wasn't a, you have to finish this. It was um, an along. Just, just participate. Participation. It's yep. a participation price, essentially. Yeah. And so the winner of that was number number five, and that was wow. Finding Needles. Michelle. Yay. You won. So get in contact with me, and I will get your prize out to you in the next week or so. And I know I said that last time to some people, and it's going out on Monday, I promise. We got busy. It's already scheduled. It's been ridiculous. So it's already scheduled. One person, because she ordered for me, it's on the way. And then um, the other two lovely people who won for our It's Not For You, Cal, those will be out on Monday. I love you all. That's good. (laughs) Um, But yeah, so you won. So contact me on Ravelry, and I will get that out to you. Yay. And let's see. So should we, is that? Talk about our uh, knit two other knit-alongs. Mm-hmm. So we have our summer sock along. Well, we have three other knit-alongs. Oh, we have three other knit-alongs. Yeah, we have our summer sock along, which I think there's a lot of people that have already entered. Have, hasn't yeah. there been a lot? Yeah, there's been people. a couple. Some people have been posting in the wrong thread, but. So post as many times as you want. In the sock thread. In the sock thread, mm-hmm. as long as you have a finished pair of socks. Yep. And if you use our yarn, post that picture twice for double entry. Yes. And then we also have Those Summer Knits Cal going yep. on right now. You know, Those Summer Knits. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, that's going on. Going on. So that will be, was it shorts, shawls, and shirts? Uh, uh, shorts, shawls, shirts, uh, sweaters. Like, like, yeah, like summer type sweater yeah. shirts. Light so it's light garment, not socks. So if you do socks, put them in the in summer the sock, sock along. along. That's mm-hmm. why we opened that one. So we could still do some kind of sock along. Um, but that's going on. I have a finished object for what I'm doing and a uh, work in progress. So mm-hmm. just make sure you're posting in there. All the, the guidelines are listed on the Ravelry. And then we we also have the Swancho along. Don't and we? we have the Swancho along, yeah. guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There are four three finished objects in that. And, are they and I feel I bad have, because I haven't finished mine. But you I, finished I yours. finished mine and mm-hmm. I posted in the not the finished object yeah. threads. I posted in the other yeah. thread. And um, it's such a warm, cozy, I think it's going to be a wear at home mm-hmm. kind of a, a, a knit just because I think the size I made which there's only two sizes. Yeah. But I think the way I made it, it it's not as functional if In you're the out. Gauge, yeah, you, I don't think you could wear it to work. And I didn't wear it to our show because mm-hmm. hugging people, the sleeves start like you're right really here. making people want to knit this. 
Well, I'm just saying it's so comfortable, like wearing it around your house. Yeah. I mean, it's a cozy knit. Or if you're going to a football game or something. And I think I'm going to alter yeah. mine a little bit. And my gauge is smaller because I use a different DK that has a smaller gauge yeah. than yours. And so I'm going to see how mine works up as well. Mm-hmm. Because I'm almost done with the repeats and it's like right here. Or I'm almost done with the, the patterning. I have like this much. And then my sleeves are going to start like right here. Mm-hmm, maybe. Well, and so we'll I think see. that's how it was when I knit it. But then when I blocked, blocked it, it. Yeah. it blocked really big. So, I, if nice I, I mean, I would make it again. Yeah. I would just make it a little bit smaller. I'd probably go down on my needle size. Yeah. You know, and that's, I may have done that, honestly. You might have. Because I didn't. I used exactly what yeah. they said. But I love it. Like, I put it on and it's I like it's wait. like a big hug. And it's like a, wearing a blanket. If you wore it over, like... Um, a regular long sleeve shirt or something to and that's, a football game. I think that's or... what I'm going to be wearing mine with. But anyways, it's, that it's, is still anyway, going on. I love it. And so if you haven't finished yours up, there's still some time. It goes until the 31st of May. And I'm hoping to have mine done. But I've been really obsessed with designing recently. So we'll see. And you've been happen. knitting some other and stuff. I've been knitting some other stuff. It's been pretty awesome. So we'll, we'll see on that. Um, anyways, let's, let's see. I think that's all of our advents. Okay, so... Or Did a- you say Advent? Advent. Um, that's all of our admin. Yes. Yay. Through that stuff. Okay. So how was your last four weeks, Mom? You know what? We went to Maryland. I know. We went to Maryland oh and we stayed at the most amazing bed and breakfast house that ever was. Uh, it was a big... I live there. I know. At first I thought it was some old, old house, but it wasn't. It was built in the 90s. And it was built by a doctor, well, she's a PhD, mm-hmm. um, whose family was lived in Germany during the World War II, and mm-hmm. her dad was a CIA operative. So the house they lived in had, like, hidden staircases, you know, hidden rooms. Supposedly. Supposedly. And so... We looked, but she, we're not very good finders, because right. we're not Hufflepuffs, so... So she built this big house as her family house in the 90s. And she rep- it's a replica of one of the safe houses they lived mm-hmm. in. And so she said there was, what, three or four? Three or four secret staircases. staircases. And she said if you find one, you get a free room, a free night stay. And I think you I know. You looked a little. I think I know where they are. Sure. Now uh-huh. that we're gone. Yeah. Because we didn't have time to actually, like, stay no. and look and, and stuff. Because we just kept around. going and going. And I didn't know which rooms I was allowed to snoop in. And so. it's called the, um, what's it called? It's at Paralina. Columbia Inn at Paralina. Yes. And it was outside of, it was away from the festival about, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, and it was so nice. It was. I, I want to, I want to, we need to book our room for next year. We do. If we end up going to Maryland again, which and I think it, we probably would. It had a great big back porch with patio <sighs> with tables, and then we had a knit night inside um, with Kay, a crazy sock lady, and... And our new friends, Tanya and our Karen. Our new friends, Tanya and Karen, who are, came up with Kay from... Mm-hmm. Uh, South Carolina, South Virginia, West Virginia, South Carolina. They came up with K. and K from wherever <laughs> they live. I can't remember. I don't remember the, either. But anyway. So West Virginia. Were, was it West Virginia? We have the mug. Was it West Virginia or I South think Carolina? So. I think it was. Oh, crap. No, I don't know. See? That's the thing. I don't know either. <laughs> anyway, they um, they were so much fun. We oh, spent yeah. a lot of time with them. Went to and dinner they served with them. us wine and cake. Wine and cake at our. And we, you get wine and cheese. And cake every night at the bread, bed and breakfast. Aww. And breakfast, of course. Yeah. But it was just really a cool place. So we're going back there next mm-hmm. year. We want to um, stay there. The first event we went to was Needles Up, who was put on by Legacy oh Fiber gosh. Arts and Andre Sue Knits. And we were the door greeters. Oh, my gosh. It was so fun. It was so much fun. It and really we got was. to meet so many amazing people. And, of course, the first people that walked through the door are Kay, Tanya, and Karen. Yeah, And that was fantastic. And Tanya won the do- one of the door prizes. She won the door prize. <laughs> we were in charge of door prizes and drawings and games. I'm like, we are? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So we thought it, We thought real quick. In fact, we, it was really flattering. We ended up on Christy Glass's vlog that from was Maryland, so cool. which was really fun. That was fun. Playing the game that yeah. we were playing at the, at the door. But we got to help Sue set up and meet the vendors a little bit. And we got to finally meet Chelsea, which is Chelsea. Not Chelsea, you guys. We were all wrong. Of from Sue Secret Miniatures. Yeah. And you're her mom now, apparently. I'm her new mom. So yeah, she's sweet. She's so fun. But her, we gotta meet her. We gotta meet all the Martha of um um the Tuft Woolens. Tuft Woolens. Yep. And Lisa of Fiber Nymph Dye Works. Yes. And the Amy ladies, Beth. Amy Beth from Fat, Fat Squirrel. Squirrel. 
and the ladies from the Classy, Classy Squid, Squid Fiber, Fiber Co. Co. So Amanda, got randomly I have her card right here. Well, because we got some stuff from her for a giveaway because she does yeah. a lot of um, yarn bats. Were those all the vendors? One, two, two three. three. Who? Four, yeah, because Andy. Six, yeah. yeah. Andy didn't vend. Andy didn't vend, mm-hmm. but Andy hung out with us. And that was oh, I know. Fun. It was so much so fun funny. though. We got to meet in person finally. Kay, Meg of Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. We got to meet Christy Glass. Um, got to see Laura of Crocheting Hoovian. Oh my gosh, there were so many people that we got to meet um, mm-hmm. and had never, you know, met before. Never really hung out with. To, Denise so of great. Earth Tone Girls, we Denise, hung out with yeah, her we got to afterwards. Meet her. Um, who else was sitting in that big circle with us? I think there, there was, were so many. There were some other people um, that we met, but I don't know if any of them have podcasts. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. So if so you were fun. there, it's always we, a great event. We had so much fun talking to you and meeting you and spending time with you. And so that was on the Friday night. That was on the Friday mm-hmm. night. And then the next day was Marilyn Sheep and Wool. Mm-hmm. And we went there and it was. Everyone else is like, oh, yeah, it was rainy and kind of sucked. It. And I'm like, it was rainy and it was awesome. Oh, wait, wait. Can what? I tell what happened at Needles Up? Yeah. So I'm at the very end of Needles Up. I'm sitting there at the table and I look up and I look over and one of the ladies that I went to Ireland with. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This happens to you everywhere you go. It happened at, oh at um, Stitches West. Yeah. I we we saw a couple of ladies that I went to Ireland with that I just was so happy about. And so we saw Mo. And then she um, she reached out to a couple of the other ladies that lived in the area, mm-hmm. uh, and we met up with them the next day that I had gone to Ireland with. So I ended so up fun. we had like lunch with them when we first Karen got there. and Shannon that I went to Ireland with um, the next day. So we all I hung out for that. a little while and chatted. It was really cool. These are ladies I never thought I'd ever see again. Yeah. It's so cool to go to these functions and see them. Well, I and we didn't even I, plan it. Yeah, and I feel like that's how kind of the knitting world is anyways, and the fiber world is, is because we all get very passionate about it and want to go to these big events, and we make these connections with people that normally, like yeah. on Facebook, oh, we're Facebook friends. You never see that person no. in real life, but because we're such a tight-knit community. Well, and you know what? It's Needles Up was a fun event. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't an enormous event. No. So to see someone there that I went to Ireland with randomly. That's just crazy. It was so cool. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I was super happy. So hi, Mo. Mm-hmm. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Karen. Hi, daughter. It was daughter. so fun to see you. Yeah. And uh, Shannon brought her daughter. And Mo had her, um, a friend of hers with her that has a, oh, a yeah. knitting company. Oh, my gosh. I have her card. I was going to talk about her, too. I oh. forgot. I'll have to remember. Okay. Um, but anyway, so that was Needles Up, and then the next day... So we went, we got to Maryland Sheep and Wool, and it was rainy and awesome and kind of overcast. So drizzly-lish. Yeah, and so we got to meet up with them, and... Oh, we also went to dinner with Meg. Was it the oh, night yeah, before? Oh, yeah, the night before. Yeah, so we got... We oh, got and to, then after we went to dinner, we... we <laughs> oh, we got to go... The, we, so much happened, guys. Oh, my gosh. So then we went over to Kay's hotel with Kay, Tanya, and Karen hung out with in no their, air conditioning. Their sauna of a, a waiting... Or a lobby area. Oh, my God. But we still stayed there oh, and admitted with them. And yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But we went to dinner with Meg beforehand and then did that, and we found out our Patronuses. What's your Patronus? Yeah... What's your Patronus? Mine is a, what was mine? A cat? Ginger cat. A right? ginger cat. I'm a ginger cat. Trust me, what was yours? I'm a salmon. She's a salmon. I think that's amazing. I kick all your Patronus's asses. Yeah, you would swim away <laughs> as fast as you could. Dude, against the, the against current. Against the current, super fast, <laughs> and hide in the shadows. And jump up waterfalls to get away. But, you know, some salmon <laughs> are very large. What are you trying to say? You some of them are ego? big and badass, you know? <laughs> it takes some work to reel you in. So I'm a fish. It's, you're a lot of work to reel in. That's true. Oh, yeah. Mom, oh, you're yeah. making all these you're connections. Welcome. Thank you're welcome. you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that happened. And then we got to Maryland. We got to eat lunch with those amazing ladies you were talking about. Go around. We didn't buy a ton, but we had the podcaster meetup where we got to meet a lot of lovely people. Yeah. And it was a little smaller. And it was smaller than Rhinebeck. Than Rhinebeck obviously. Yeah. Everything's going to be smaller than that crowd. That there was, was crazy. See, but there were still a lot of people there. I mean, yeah. it was a big event in that area. Yes. It was a big deal. I was a little surprised. And I think the people who put on the podcast for me up were a little surprised, too, at the venue that the people from Maryland Sheep and Wool got for that meetup. Because we had a live 
animals. animals that looked like they were gonna get loose and like they were being uh brought through oh on like a rope i seriously i'm like i have to back away a little bit because i feel like it's gonna get loose and kill me there was a sheep that had like horns here and then more down here yeah. that like came out right here it's like where'd you get that hell it's like a sat. it was a satan <laughs> sheep i know seriously yeah. it was that was, was a scary. little terrifying yeah and us being these little shorties we're like oh okay It'll but kill me. It was a lot of fun. We made some so new much friends. Fun. We met lots of fun people yeah. there. And um, so that was uh, the Saturday. We pretty much just spent the day there. And then we ended started up. Started raining. We went to dinner with Kay, Karen, and Tanya. And that's when, after that, we started our knit night. That was and so much fun. Yeah, then we went back to our bed and here. breakfast and and had our little knit night with them. That yeah. was a lot of fun. So that's, that's basically Maryland, though. And then, well, we went back Sunday for a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, for a little bit. But not bit. for very long. We got some awesome bags. We did. We'll show those. Oh Wait, God. mine's out there. I'll have to go get it. Yeah, mine's way over there because I forgot about that it. That was really cool. So I we'll really just, like that. you know, when we get to our, um, I wonder what's in this segment, we'll show some of those. Yeah. Some of the things we got at Maryland. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so, whew, whew, whew. That, was that was Maryland. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the week that we got back, that Friday, so we got back on. Oh no, no, we got. We were supposed to get back. Oh my gosh, our on the way there. First of all, okay, we got delayed. We had a three-hour layover, but then we got delayed an extra three, three hours. hours in um in Houston. Yeah, it was in Houston, and people were like, "Oh, you got here, okay? Oh my gosh, that must have been so hard." I made almost a whole sock while I was, was sitting there, and waiting. that was nothing compared to trying to get back home. Getting back home, we got to the airport. We were supposed to leave. Our flight was supposed to leave at what? We were supposed to board at 5.45 yeah. and leave by 6 something. And they came on and they're like, you guys have been delayed till 7.30. And we're like, mm, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. Then they came on. They're like, you've actually been delayed till 6 o'clock in the morning. We're like, what? And then she goes, well, the plane, your plane coming on its way in from England, I London. think. London. Mm-hmm. Got struck by lightning. She's like, you don't want to get on this plane. Yeah. And we're like... You're no, right. Thank you. <laughs> so they got us a hotel. We stayed at a hotel overnight, which wasn't bad at yeah, all. We it got was, an Instagram live, and mm-hmm. it was pretty comfortable. Yeah, and it was got fine. up at four o'clock in the morning, three forty-five ish, to get on the plane, and then we got a straight flight with no layover. That was it. Was, was really so nice. nice on a different airline because both of the problems Delta. were from that same airline coming mm-hmm. in and going back home. Yeah, we're on the same airline. So. This was the same was week that happy. Southwest had some issues in their planes, but yeah. anyway, we, we got home safely. And then we started preparing. Again. For, for our very first fiber show. And I just have to say. It was so awesome. It was so awesome. And I was floored at how many people came in to see us. Because it's this little teeny fiber festival it's in a Utah. It's Utah festival. Um, and it was over Mother's Day weekend. So a lot of people would be busy hanging out with their mom. Um, it was a two-day event. So we went and set up on Thursday night. Mm-hmm. And then it started on Friday, and Friday was actually pretty busy. Yeah. But imagine that our surprise oh when we first start, got there. We turn around, and two of our friends that we hung out with in California at Stitches West mm-hmm. um, were there. They had flown in from California to yeah. see us. Anna so and Jerry. Anna and, Jer- Anna and Jerry. It was so good hanging out with oh you guys. And we got to have dinner with them on Saturday after the event got mm-hmm. over. But they went They went to the festival, and then they went around Salt Lake. and. Yep. And Utah. And Gardner Village. Gardner Village. And, they just went around and, and sightseed for the day yeah. and, and for Saturday. But they and flew out just to come to our show and see us. And that's just so, so amazing. So sweet. That's, no one's ever done anything like that. And that was just amazing. And we were not expecting it. And then. No. And we, we had some people come up from We had two Nevada. groups come up from like Nevada area, which was amazing. And, and then. Some Idaho people in came Idaho. in. Mm-hmm. And then a bunch St. of George. Utah people that yeah. I was like, you live here? Like, I've sent yarn to you. I mean, I want to put together a knitting group down here in, in, I know. in by Hayden. where we yeah. live. Because um, the one we go to up in Salt Lake, which so we far love. Away. Which, Debra, who is uh, Meanwhile at the Castle, she's on And Meanwhile Indigo the Chicken Dolls. And Indigo Chicken Dolls on Instagram. She mm-hmm. stayed with us the whole time. She helped us run the booth. She talked about our, the yarn. She got us lunch. She got us lunch every day. Every day. Oh she gosh, was so she's wonderful. So great. And she's so entertaining. I love I chatting with her. She's fun. We had so much fun together. She did my Kitchener stitch on my toe of my sock. She was our interior yes. decorator. 
It was very of our nice. Booth. It helped out a ton. Yes. Um, so if I think about it, I'll insert pictures of our booth yeah, in here because yeah. I, it was I loved fun. how it, it turned, was a good it setup. Out. Mm -hmm. and it was our first time, so we didn't really know what to expect. But I feel like it overall went really well, especially on really Friday, mm -hmm. and just meeting all all of you people that came out to see us on it was Saturday. So amazing. A bunch of people that came. on Saturday actually, um, we we were sitting at the booth, and my mom turns over and she's like. Is that dogs or nits? Oh, yeah. I was. And I'm like, no. She goes, no. They can't be here. Because they don't live out here. They don't live over here. And I'm like. I know. I was. I yeah. saw Ray. I saw Jake. And then I saw Ray of dogs or nits. And I'm like, are you a podcaster? Because I didn't want to ask some random stranger. Are you dog star nits? Because I mean, would it, imagine if they I weren't. I don't know. Yeah. It's it, like, maybe how like, would you take that? How, that's really like, thanks. So anyway, we, we got to chat with them, took some pictures with them. And then. Um, we ditched them on accident. Well, we were, <laughs> it was a, it was a busy day. It was so busy on and Saturday. And they were totally understanding. So mm -hmm. after we went and had dinner with um, Anna and Jerry, we're like, oh the, shit, we were supposed to. We were supposed to invite them. We totally, <laughs> time got away from us and we were going to go like, to dinner. We were like, So we went and, and um, we just met up at a little pub restaurant after got we had dinner. Got some cheesecake. Got some cheesecake and sat and chatted with them for a long time and it was so much fun. They were so great. They were so Check wonderful. out their podcast. They're so, they're so funny. They just moved and so they've been, they haven't done a ton of podcasting lately, mm -hmm. but Jake, Ray, we think we sh you should do a new one. We think it's time. Yeah, I think so. And they're busy. Ray's a busy lady. I know. She's a busy lady. That is so crazy. She's a hard worker. Yeah. They both are, but Ray's job. Holy cow, Ray. Oh, my God. You are a busy lady. I work lady. from home. I'm, I'm staying with that for yeah. her. Yeah. But, no, it was so great. Yeah, Again, just fun. meeting everyone. We were not expecting so many people just to come and say hi to us. It's awesome. It was so much We fun, appreciate so. meeting all of you guys. Yeah. So, thanks. And we made some new connections with some people that we may do yeah. knit nights with. So, that'll be fun. Do what? Knit nights. Oh, yeah. What do you think I said? Ninex. Nin oh, yeah. That we're going to do Ninex. Whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, thank you, hey. guys. And it gives us great ideas for what to look for in when we do Vogue Knitting Live. So Yeah. And, you know, um, Sue uh, of Legacy Fiber Arts and the Legacy Knits podcast, who did Needles Up, she gave Tristan some great advice about the show. She said, on your first one, just, just learn from it. Yeah. Just go do it and learn from it. Don't, yeah, don't have too many expectations and just kind of be observant, which we did. It's so interesting. The things that sell online are completely different than the, th than the things that sell in person. I know. It was a shocker. It's a completely twist. It was like, so oh, okay. fascinating. So I was like, okay, now we have a better idea of what people mm -hmm. like. Um, anyway, so now when we get ready for Vogue Knitting Live, we'll have a better idea. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll be good. Anyways. Yeah. Let's talk some knitting maybe. I think that's pretty much everything that happened, right? Yeah. Oh, talk? except for I got my diploma in the mail two days ago. She did. She her graduation was supposed to. She was supposed to walk. And <laughs> on May fifth. On May fifth, but chose to. That go. was needles up, so I had to go. Yeah, she. It was on May fourth because it was May the fourth be with you, remember? Oh yeah, that's but right. But you were going to be walking the next day. Yeah. So we. She decided to go to Maryland yeah. instead of walking. Graduation present to myself. That's right. So but well, we're going to have a big party for her coming yeah. up. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, so. Ooh. ooh. I have an itch. Any other crackles? I don't know. We'll see. Well, so should we do, what do you want to do first? Let's do our finished brews, just because they're okay. blatantly obvious, and we have a couple of them. Okay, you go first. Okay. So I finished my sweater, and it is the Arwen sweater by Isabel Kramer, and it is in my cinder colorway, and I'm loving, loving, loving this fit. So it's a little bit, it has like two to four inches of positive ease, I think. And you guys will be surprised that I didn't alter a ton, but I did have to knit about this much more before I started mm -hmm. the ribbing. It's adorable though. Oh, it's, it looks so comfortable. I love it so much. And this lace work on the top is just so much fun. And I took some finished objects and there's photos of it yesterday. Bobbles on it. There's bobbles. It's so adorable. And I may or may not have cast another one of these on because they are so much fun to knit. Because as soon as you get done with this lace section, which is charted and written out, and you separate for the sleeves, basically it's just a giant sock. Which you some people don't like and some time. people love. I mean, it's mindless knitting once you get past this. Yeah, it is total mindless knitting, which I love because I watch a lot of Netflix with my husband mm -hmm. or we go to the movies, like we're going to go see Deadpool on Sunday, tomorrow. I love Deadpool. I, I know. 
And so if I wanted to maybe work on this during the movie, I could as soon as I was done with separating the sleeves. So it's just straight stockinette. And it's a fingering weight sweater. Mm -hmm. And I alternated skeins the entire time after. So I alternated skeins up here before I started this section. And then I just did one for this because the lace is going to break it up evenly anyways. Mm -hmm. And so you don't really need to alternate skeins when you're doing a lot of intricate lace unless it's for the whole sweater. And then I went back to alternating from here down. And I alternated like every, every row. Every row? Every row. I always do every row. Yeah. It's a lot easier for me because then it doesn't create holes. That's true. So that's true. I'd rather have that. It turned out really, really good. And then you made the sleeves the normal size. Yep, I made the sleeves the normal size. And I always do twisted ribbing on any kind of ribbing that I have. I did, however, as soon as I went down a needle size right here for just one row before I started the ribbing, I did do twisted stitches all the way around in the knit stitch first. Just to kind of give it that... Um, reinforcement for the for the ribbing. Isabel Kramer I'm loving. I am too but I feel like she has a shorter torso. I think so because I well she's the one that did the my girl my best friend's my girlfriend's no, my best friend's my shawl? girlfriend shawl? Wait what the? It's called my best friend. I think it's my best friend's maybe. There's a girl in there. A girl's best friend. A girl's best friend shawl. Jeez. Oh my gosh we're Sue. Sue is like my best friend's shawl. That's where I, know, I got it she's from. she's ruining it. A girl's best friend. It doesn't matter. It's Isabel Kramer and it's a beautiful shawl. And mm -hmm. I haven't, I have not blocked mine yet. I'm going to do know. that today. You keep saying, oh, I'm going to block it for this I'm show. Gonna I'm going to block it for this show. I'm going to block it. Well, hey, I blocked the stuff Yeah, you this blocked show. that fast. My stuff got blocked. But I mean, so, yours is by Isabel Kramer as yeah, well. Yeah, so let me right? show mine really quick. So I finished the Malin sweater. And it's a DK weight sweater. And I made this in my vanilla colorway from my shop. And it has two versions. You can do this knit, uh, this cable version um, with this neck. There's actually four versions technically, because you can. She gives you two necks to choose from. When one's a cowl, which I didn't want to do a cowl, no. but I love the the neckline. I like that. I neckline. love where it lays. And then there's two different cable um, patterns you could do. And so this is the lacy one. And then I added a. Uh, I'm like, where's the camera? I added a ribbing detail under the arm, you know, under here and down the arm, just for fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I like to, to do that. And then I split the seam I on the side. That. And you love Isabel Kramer's patterns as well, right? Oh my gosh. Like how they're, they are so well written. I had never really done bobbles before. I started designing a bobble hat because I love these bobbles so much, but it's so... Mine was so well written. What about yours? Mine was really well written. And I think what I love about her patterns, her sweater patterns, mm -hmm. is they're basic enough yes. that they're quick. And they're, the chance of you screwing up are pretty minimal. And if you screw for, up, it's pretty easy to fix it. But it's, too. I mean, I, did, I didn't have to go back and redo any of this pattern right mm -hmm. here. Because it just all made sense. And you could read it as you're going. So you kind of knew where you were mm -hmm. in the pattern. Um, in fact, I had originally made it, the original pattern goes to here. And I'm like, I even put on my ribbing to here. And I'm like, that's just not going to be long enough for me. I know, when me. I put it on, I it mean, went like right to my hip bone. Here's my waistband. Yeah. And I'm like, mm, I'm going to take, I took out all the ribbing. And I went ahead and added two more repeats of the cable. And then I did a split hem. So we both added like two to four inches on both oh, of Oh, yeah, I think at least. I yeah. mean, mine... Mine's probably a good because it was from. Yeah. It's probably two and a half inches on there. Did that this I did. is two and a half inches? Well. It's like four or five inches, Mom. Well, it went, this one went to here. Okay. So it's basically from here, oh, okay. here to here. So probably three, two, three. two and a half to three inches. Okay. Yeah. That's about as yeah. much as I did. So maybe keep that in mind when you're looking, if you wanted to ever knit any of these sweaters or maybe any of her sweaters because it mm -hmm. seems. I mean, we've only done two, but I mean, well, and it I made, like it I might think, be a theme. I think I even made the arms a tiny bit longer. Oh, I think I did too, actually. Yeah, I, I added a little bit more ribbing to mine. I think mm -hmm. I did the rest of it the same. But yeah, I love it. And this is my DK weight. Yours is in your This 80 is my 8515, mm. and it's so squishy, and it hasn't pilled yet. And I've worn, I wore it like all day on Thursday, I think. Well, and despite what people might think about hand dyers, um, and I don't know about other people, but I know you and I have tried so many bases. Oh, so many. I have tried so many bases. And my big thing is, is I want them to be wearable. Yes. 
And um, long lasting. Long lasting. And I've used some DK weights and some fingering weights that while I'm knitting it, it'll start pilling yeah. or pilling. Uh, pilling. And I, so I'm trying to get away from that. And I think we've both found some yeah. really great quality yarn that is um, durable, longer staple yarn. Still soft and squishy. So squishy but... and soft. But you don't yeah. get the you don't get the pilling yeah. as as much. So because that's just yeah. unfortunate when you knit something that's a bigger project and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay, every time I wear this, I'm gonna have to clean it, and then that's only gonna last for so long. So we both have new sweaters. Yeah, and I like it. And yeah, I'm I may or may not be knitting another one of these right now. I would love to make and another one of these. And I can't stop playing with my baubles. You're so silly. <laughs> But yeah, do you not fill my bobbles. They're, so, they're just fun, you know. And did they take a long time? No. So they were. This whole lace pattern was so easy. I've actually recommended it to a couple people uh, recently. Is it this? Do you have to do then turn, then do then turn, then do then turn like five times? Because mm -hmm. that's the long. That was the row that took the longest on my shawl. Yeah. This I think I this it. section took probably a total of six hours, four okay. to six hours. That's not too bad at all. Mm mm. And it was over the course of two nights for me, and I just got them done. Mm -hmm. And then not that long after, you're able to separate. Uh-huh. And, yeah. It just looks cozy. It is so cozy, and it's so easy. And I could talk about this all day, but we should and probably move on. And two, it's two different. Mine's a raglan, and yours is a yoke, like a yes. a yoke sweater. Mm -hmm. I'm not yoking. You're not yoking? That's not a yoke. <sighs> okay. Anyway. I loved it. I'm happy. We're happy. We're supposed to be making summer knits, and we both made a sweater, and it's our lives, and we can do whatever we We're want. We're going to do what we want. Yeah. Because actually, this is a very lightweight sweater, though. Mine might count. It's Mine has a lot of holes in it, so it's, <laughs> so it's airy. There's ventilation in there. Just wear it with a tube top underneath, and we can get away with it. That's right. I wasn't sure I was going to like this color either. I really ended but up I liking it. it. I, I like it now. I mean, I think it would be a great fall color, mm -hmm. you know, with... With a really fallish. I think it's so sunshiny and perfect, but I think it would look super cute with jeans, which it does right now. It looks well, super cute with jeans and then boots. Well, and in Utah, our weather. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. Our weather. I'm not gonna apologize. For I don't, have, with I my don't hair. care. Whatever. It's my hair. My hair. Um, we can be 88 degrees during the day, and then at night when the sun goes down, it might get down into like 40s. It, it, mm -hmm. So, you know, I have a really great back porch with chairs, and so. During the summer, Drag. I can throw one of these sweaters on or my swancho and go out there and knit. Last night I was not on that porch. that counts for the cow, but we we're just joking. Who's making that. the rules? We are. Anyway, I can go out there. I was out there last night for about oh a half hour forty five minutes, just sitting on my porch mm -hmm. as the sun was going down. I was taking pictures too of yarn, but we do, and it was gorgeous. It was just it was getting cooler and cooler, and I thought, oh, I should go throw on a sweater. Mm -hmm. This would be perfect for that. I love it. Thanks. We both done good. Do you have any other finished objects? I do. What Costume do do? change. Cut. All right. So we are back with my second finished object. Get it in the screen. It's awesome. So this is the Tanya, not Tegna. Tanya. Apparently we all learned. Apparently it's Tanya. Thank you, Christy Glass and Caitlin Hunter, for yes. opening our eyes Did and we our ears. That we get to meet Christy Glass. I know. I don't. I don't think we mentioned. She's that. pretty fun. She's so chill in and real life. And her little girl. And her little girl who Pippa. kept stealing our pins Pippa and then bringing them back <laughs> one by one. Came over and stole our little buttons. It was pretty She's funny. cute. She's adorable. Um, but so I finished my Tanya, and this is in my Bohemian colorway, which is awesome. And I think I'm gonna make another one, and I'm gonna make it long sleeved, and I'm gonna make it longer in the front, and I'm actually gonna do some shaping, and I'm gonna make it two sizes larger. Two sizes larger, really? Mm -hmm. You want it to be baggy? I want it to be like the Kingston tunic, because this is supposed uh. to be further out here. But the size I did didn't. If it's more like a t-shirt, which is fine. Yeah. And I'm totally not wearing an undershirt, guys. I'm so inappropriate. I'm but sorry. you could wear it over a cute dress too. Yeah, and like that's what really this one is right now. Dress. I'm I'm wearing these over my dresses, which is totally you know whatever. That's fine. And but I want to make one that's maybe down to like here or something. Mm -hmm. um, and with long sleeves, but maybe comes out like this far on each side. I like that. I can't, I don't, sorry, the camera's backwards. From what we're used to. It changed because my mom updated her, her computer. <laughs> so, but yeah, I love it. I got to wear it during the craft, or not the craft fair, the Great Basin Fiber Arts Fair. And yes. super comfy. This is also in my lore base, which is the 8515. And as you can see, there's like no, no pilling. pilling. So you guys, if you haven't tried our 8515, I'm obsessed with it. It's we decided it's called, we call it bouncy. It's a bouncy. bouncy. Mm -hmm. It's 
soft, but it's not, um, it's durable feeling, yes. but it's so soft and squishy. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm getting rid of probably all, I'm going to keep that shepherdess and my two DKs. And I think that's it. Yep. We're going to both I love narrow it that down much. our choices, I think. Yeah. And now I that we've have, tried a ton. I might have some seasonal choices, like yeah. the Aaron weight. I just worsted. got an, an Aaron mm-hmm. worsted weight that is so, it feels so good. Oh my gosh. Speaking of feeling good though, this is a little breezy under here because I'm not wearing an undershirt. Um, so, so I'm going to change out in yay. a second, but I just yay. love how the lace turned out. But if I were to change anything, it would be the length of it. I would knit probably about that much more. And I would make really? it long Because Okay, I just want to tell you, if you're wearing it over a dress, I think that's the perfect length. No, this is perfect, but I want to wear it with shorts. But if so you I wear it, it with shorts, here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then you won't have to wear an undershirt with yeah, it Yeah, because I feel like it's... I mean, you don't have to now. It's your it's your life. I know. But you know what? We're, yeah. we're modest people. Despite, modest or... Despite what you might think of us, we're pretty <laughs> modest. Should I wear an undershirt with this? No, I think you should wear a black bra. <laughs> That's already... what I was thinking the whole time, honestly. I'm like, wow, wow. Opportunity missed. I put a tank top. I wear a tank top underneath it, but I'm like, do you think I need to? What? Even if it didn't have lace, it's a little see-through. It's a little so see-through. I would not wear this without um, something. I'm going to change back into my other okay, sweater because I love it. Okay, bye. Okay, we're back. And it is mom's turn. Okay, let me put down my... <laughs> Knitting. She keeps picking up this knitting that she has to do short rows with, and I was like, you can't really podcast while doing short rows, but it just show. keeps jumping in her hands. So I reached out to Jamie of the Cozy Up with the Stitch and Sisters, Jamie, Sarah, Chrissy, and Katie. And Katie. And I, they were putting together a new pattern called the Triple Treat or Triple Threat, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I can't, I can't say either of them. They're both a tongue twister for me. So twist, a tongue twister. They're both a tongue twister. Triple treat. Triple anyway. tri- No. It's a TT. No. Call it's it a the, TT? We call it her, their TT pattern. I'm going to call it the TT pattern it's from the now t- on. They have a TT pattern. It's a TT pattern. That's still hard for me did to you, say. TT pattern. Did you guys I'm not going to call it a TT pattern. I'm going to call it a TT pattern. I bet. it's so much easier. I bet they didn't even know they had a TT pattern. I know. Three of them. TT? Three TT patterns. What? What? It's a triple treat because there's three patterns in one. Yeah. And which is brilliant. I which love that. They wanted to do three one skein wonders mm-hmm. and they wanted to do three different shapes. So they did the asymmetrical, the um crescent, the, the crescent and then the V. Triangle. Triangle? The whatever. V shawl. Whatever. There's a V and then the triangle has a V at the bottom. Yes, okay. True. True. Let's not freak true. out. Okay. Okay. I offered to be a test knitter. And I love people. They're so sweet. Jamie. She's like, Oh, you can just knit it. And she said that to me too. She's like, don't like, no rush. You don't and I'm like she doesn't want me to be a test knitter. No, she doesn't. She totally she doesn't, doesn't trust want you. me to be a test knitter. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't have gotten done in time anyway. But no. I knit up the asymmetrical in my new colorway called Under His Eye from the Handmaid's Tale collection. So that's Still in the shop trying to get Eric right to watch now. that with me. I do, I'm not usually a red person. Mm-hmm. But I when I made this, I made it before we left for Maryland. And mm-hmm. the last minute, I... Thought I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it with me. I'm gonna make a shawl because red goes with so many things. And it's really hard to find a wearable red. It is, and this is kind of a um, more rustic red. And I have jeans mm-hmm. that match this. I have pants that match this that well, I wear to go. work. I wear them to work. And so I'm like, oh, I can do that. Anyway, let's get onto the shawl. Yeah. So here it is, all completed. I love that shape. And I wasn't sure that I'd have enough. Um, left at the very last section because there's supposed mm-hmm. to be lace at the bottom, but they did drop stitches, which I did for the first time, and I'm like, look, look how cool it took it you a minute, but it did. I I didn't understand the instructions, not because they were badly written, but I had never done drop yeah. stitches. I had only done where you um, unwrap parts of your yarn over if you mm-hmm. do like a double or triple yarn over. So I was leaving part of it on the needle, You're like, and I'm do I like, have like an extra hundred. Stitches how did I on double here? my stitch count in one row? I'm like, this isn't right because like, I if it kept was knitting. Accurate before those, mom. That's probably I'm like, what where I, you went wrong? What happened? But look how awesome it looks. I love it in that colorway oh, too. Oh my goodness! And I love one uh, skein wonders. It is just, I mean, after knitting um, some of the longer ones like the Andrea yeah. Mallory for your fade. Um, it's hard to get used to a shorter, shorter one because I usually don't wear super short ones to work mm-hmm. and stuff anymore. But oh, that after, one looks so nice. I know. I mean, I mean, of course, I don't know I how to. Put no, them no, on. you're you're good so far. Good backwards. so far. Okay, this is this one. This is this one. 
I'm like, which is which? Oh, I it's love that. just, it's going to go so well with my red pants that I have. Mm-hmm. That's why I piece of hair. Um, it even kind of matches this sweater. Yeah, I was going to say the, the pops in it kind of make it look like it would go well with the sweater. Can't look in the camera. It's No, just look at yourself. Off. I can't do it. I'm so lost and confused. I love it. So anyway, you guys, um, depending on what version you like, if you like a... A triangle or a crescent or an asymmetrical. I'm really loving that triangle one. And you can it's add so to it. Pretty. Like if you want it bigger. If I had had more like a, a mini with me, mm -hmm. I would have added maybe some like a golden brown color one. You yeah. know what would have looked good? <gasps> what? My um, <gasps> Hawkins AV Middle Club. Mother. That would have been awesome to weave like into that. that. But anyway, I love this. So thanks for letting me be a test knitter. Me too, but I Jamie. didn't even start it. She didn't. I've been working on things. She's been, been at busy. home working. So that's that. And this is the 8515. And it's just, it's bouncy. It's just light. I know. It's really light. I'm only and using that. <laughs> I love it. And it doesn't, it's not, a, there's not a bunch of fuzzy pilly things on I know, it. Yeah, that's what's nice. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I'm going to leave that on because um, it looks good with this I also sweater. have like 45 more finished objects. Where at? But not really. I what made a lot saying? of baby socks. 45 of them? No, I didn't. Not that's quite a, That's an inside joke with my Instagram people. I watch my Insta lives. I had to be oh. very intentional with that wink because otherwise I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, History has shown that Tristan might do that. Yeah. So okay, what do you, what else you got? I have a couple. I'm uh, knitting uh, on one right now. Wait, 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 wait. Let's move on to our, our what you sipping on. Is that what we're doing? No. Is this a finished brew? These are finished Oh my brews, gosh, I thought Ma. we usually had two, but I don't know why I thought that. I just you said never I had like 45. Said that. I'm sorry. Because we finished some Cut. Stuff. Let's cut that out, Stephen. Okay. Oh, they're so adorable. I'm not pregnant. They're so cute. And this is my favorite colorway <gasps> in the world. Oh my gosh. And it's called Vomit. I love it. I know. It is so... <laughs> They're so cute. I love it. What these. pattern is it? I actually use Chelsea's recipe from Legacy Fiber Arts. So if you go to her rav their Ravelry group, um, Legacy it's Knits the, Nerds. It's the... Um, I don't know. I think it's Legacy Knits Nerds. Yeah, it, with a Z on with the end. With a Z. With yeah. a Z. I always say that. Canadians. I, mean, I always say with a Z on the end when I say stuff. I can't think of anything now, but... There's things I say. What do I say? What I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't. I would say it to Vaughn. I would say like, oh yeah, I'm. I've, oh, I've got moves with a Z on the end. I, I think that skills. might be your pillow talk. I've got skills. That's not the pillow talk. Okay. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> with a Z on the end. Stop it. With a Z on the this end. Is, this is this is this isn't with a Z on the end. I thought you were still doing pillow talk there. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing anymore. Anyway, anyway let's talk about those. So stuff. Legacy Knits and Nerds. I'm pretty sure that's what their Ravelry group is, and it's just her recipe that she has on there. And I followed the cast on, kind of got an idea, and then just kind of did my own thing. And then Tristan's telling me today. She goes, I think these are too. Um, they're. Did you say they're too too big. too big for a baby? I'm like, they might be too small. Really? I mean, look, it's, well, I don't have very big fingers, but my middle, my middle finger, it's the height of my middle finger. Baby's feet are actually longer than you think. I don't know. And they grow so fast. I know. But They're I just so wanted to cute. have emergency baby things. Oh my gosh. When I could. So this is the vomit colorway. So cute. For my Birdie Boss Every Flavor Beans kits and I have the recipe this is just a very difficult colorway to make so I'm gonna see if I can make more and probably name it something different than vomit than vomit it, it reminds is that the one I always say reminds me of Shrek no that's the Molly Weasley it is I thought it was a green one it didn't have a pink face it's with the green and the pink for some reason together that green it just reminds me of Shrek I don't know I don't know and this is some of my leftovers from uh, Peggy Jean Fibers that is so cute. So I'm I'm kind of doing this with all of my minis because I I don't really with blankets I like heavy blankets I don't like lightweight blankets and so I'm never gonna make a cozy memories blanket unless it's with like a worsted weight or something. I want to hang those. Them up. I want to hang those from my rearview mirror for reals. I think these are cute with a Z on the end. See right. for real Z's for reals. They're so cute. 
But so I finished two sets of them, and then I'll show the other ones and what I'm sipping on. But should we do a wonder what's in this? Oh, maybe we should move on to that. I feel segment. like we have a little bit. Holy cow, you a guys. Little. And you know what? If this is a long segment, if this is a long video, we're not making two of them. No, watch it in pieces. Just split it in half. Don't watch the other half. We yeah. Don't, we don't care. Forward through this. It's, it's totally cool. We won't judge you. It's fine. We'll judge you a little bit, but you will not even know. And we won't know either. The so. things you don't even know about us. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, now I'm roasting. I know. I'm going to take this off now. I thought you put your AC on. What happened to that? I did. I don't my know. feet are freezing. Uh, my feet are always cold. I'm Me wearing too. shoes. Okay. And socks. But let's not talk. This isn't about us. What are we saying? It's always about us. I know. I'm like, what? Okay, so I'm going to. Anyways. I love this shawl. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, my gosh. So I have a present for you. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Okay, hold on. Okay. 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 This is what we were going to try to open during our live last night, right? Yeah. She has a gift for me that, that she wanted me to open. That means I have three gifts for you. Three? Yeah. From different people? Yeah. So are we doing them all right now? I'm going to do the one that we were going to watch. So we tried to do an Instagram live last night, and okay. I hadn't updated my phone recently, and I think it might be be because of that, because it got... Um, I don't know. Remember, it would happen when we were doing them before. Always like the first couple times. It's been times. like a couple weeks. And I was on my iPad then. Yeah. So Maybe yeah, I don't it's your think... phone. I think you need to get a phone like me. Well, you're the one that always can't hear. Remember, we can't hear you they when couldn't you call hear. in. When I and did then when it. I called in, they couldn't hear me. Yeah. So I don't think it's a phone issue. I don't know. I think it's an Instagram. Just something off. Okay. <laughs> so I want to do it. Okay, so we got some... I ordered from Angelica of Lila Styles on Etsy and you all should go check out her shop because oh my god price point is fantastic quality I checked out. is fantastic I checked and it out she's uniqueness talented uniqueness is ridiculous That's like you're I'm not gonna excited. find a lot of things on the market right now like hers just saying okay threw that in there so I ordered and she is ridiculous because she you spoil me too much girl so here's her card and these are to help inspire my hexes and Wait, ruse. I thought it says, but I thought it said, but since I'm nine. <laughs> but since I'm nine, she, okay, anyway, I she always, I'm message. always like, I hate you. Stop posting all these pretty things. And so, yeah, she's not nine. She says she, she's nice. So she added, she, first off, so I ordered. Oh my gosh. This bag. You guys, this is, I can't even tell you. Does anybody know who that is? I think I'm, I should, isn't Bellatrix, isn't she a Slytherin? She is a Slytherin. Yeah. yeah. And she is a Which Death Eater. I happen to be a Slytherin, so mm -hmm. does Chelsea of Sucre Sucre. Anyway. Yeah. And. That's why I'm her mom. And Rachel of uh, Knit and Knit Abilities. Is she a Slytherin? She's a Slytherin. Girl! Right? I have sisters everywhere. Right? Okay. So this is the, my Bellatrix bag. It's made on a canvas. Which I love. And then she added this detail into it. Which I love. I'm not a Death Eater or anything, but... I'm a Death Eater. <laughs> just because you're Slytherin doesn't mean you're a Death Eater. I probably would be a Death Eater. Because I'm, I'm also a little bit of a follower at times. Mm. I probably would you're be. A sheep. I'd be. And I'm afraid, of, uh, I'm afraid of people that are scary. See, I'm a Gryffindor, but I, I, love, I love dark things like this. And Bellatrix is my favorite character in Harry Potter just because she is such a well-thought-up character. And mm -hmm. uh, the dynamic that she has with Voldemort, or he who must not be named, um, is so cult-like and so intricate and interesting that I love her character. Yes. She's one of the most believable characters I've seen on there. So I love this. So she added this beautiful detailing of the dark mark on the back, which I freaked out about. And I wish I could have just opened it on here because my face, my husband was like, what happened, what happened? I'm like, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> so I started freaking out. And then she also, because you're super sweet, she sent me this. It's Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus. I think she also has these towels that are... Um, towels? That are stitched on her website that has all three of the witches, all oh. three sisters on I it. I need to look at the towels. I know, I know. Are right? they like kitchen towels? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. Yay. So I love it because her... I really like a stiff bag. 
Yeah. I really do. Just yeah. so I don't have to fold it over so it can stand up. It can stand up on its own, and I love it. And look how colorful that is. I that know. is just, it's so eye -catching. I really love her prints. So the, I also got a Coraline bag from her before, and um, I remember that one. My Steven Universe one from her, and my Dragon Scale one from her. I just, I really have been loving her bags. So they're all housing some designs I'm working on right now, though. But I love this. That's thank so you colorful. so much, Angelica. And she also sent us these, which made me oh. freaking laugh. Oh, I love that. That's a little. Pre you know, presumptuous. I love this, but she sent Which, me. I don't care. They're both they're both Halloween colors, so I'm happy with either. You know what? I think you want the darker one, don't you? Maybe. I th I figured that was. Oh, I'm a big deal on Etsy. I'm gonna put this on my bag. I'm gonna wear that under my name tag at work. <gasps> okay. Because you know, I'm not. They I'm don't not so know. much a big deal they at don't work. Know. Put it right there. But Thanks, she Lila. also wrote this note. Hand this to your mom. <laughs> I thought this was my present. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah, that we're freaking out. And be like, you have to open this. Here you go. Lila. <laughs> so her name is Angelica. Oh, I like she, Lila. But she, um, she used to be a professional pinup girl or something like that, and that was her stage name. And I want to be I like love her. love that. I want to be like her. I know, right? Do you think I could do Light that? Like I think you could. Be a pinup model at age 47? Yeah, uh, yeah. Five foot one? Yep. Yep, that's the, the, I was about to say, the age requirements is five foot one. Yes. I bet the, about the only thing I have that would qualify are my boobs. <laughs> yeah. I've got the boobs for it, but. Mine wouldn't anymore. I wouldn't qualify at all. Except for I look like a porcelain doll when you put red lipstick on me. There's something, there's a bag in here and I am, I don't care how loud this is. Turn your volume down. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I am dying. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's canvas. I'm going to freak out. There's a canvas bag. It's a black and red bag. <gasps> um, what? That's a Stranger Things. That is so awesome. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay, I don't get all crazy and worked up over very many TV shows. I think there's two. Star Trek and Stranger Things. Well, Things. Star Trek, but I don't even get as crazy about it's like that. nostalgic. Stranger Things and now Handmaid's Tale. But these are the same colors as Handmaid's Tale. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Angelica? Is that her name? Yeah. Angelica? I have I had and no it's idea. Canvas. It's, and, it's oh. a, This is black canvas. I was telling Tristan last night. I'll be showing in a minute. I'm making a sweater. And I'm like, should I make black She's like, well, maybe the lace. I'm like, I'm doing it. I love black. Like, I want. I like wearing yeah. black. This is me. I love that. And it matches my new Cozy Up with the Stitch and Sisters yes, it shawl. Does. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you so oh much. You guys go to her shop. I'm going to go there and check out her towels. Yes. Cause those are those are cute, and I'm pretty sure if she has a pattern that she can put on a bag, she could put it on a towel. I think I, I think you need to put a waffle, just a waffle, just a waffle on a bag on a on a towel for the kitchen. <laughs> oh, because that's Stranger Things, yeah, and it's kitchen. No one would know. Thank and then you. Some people so would know, and they love you. You that know what? So cute. You guys, I love that. People are so sweet. Thank you so much, Angelica. And it's red on the inside. Yeah, it's just black and red. So go check out our so shop. Simple, Seriously, but. She, she is in, like, my top five right now. And I love discovering new people and everything like that. But right now, she's she's amazing. So check There's out her shop. And so price many. point is fantastic. And Thank you. And shipping is great. So and customer excited. service is amazing. So oh, Okay. We better move on. But yes. thank you so much. That's so kind of you. How much do you have? Because oh I still have, I have three. I have a few things. Oh, okay. you do? You go. Do you want me to show one? Okay. Yeah. I'll show. Um, I ordered. I love bags. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I ha ordered, put in an order. Oh, my God. With, um, again, one of our favorite bag makers. Yeah. Because I saw this bag and I thought, you know, I, I'm going to order it. Because it's my life, right? Do it. Yep. So Nina from Give Me a Crown put out this. She has another cat design that I want, but she's out and of material. You can't help it because look at that. These are the creepiest cats ever. <gasps> oh my God. They are so creepy that <laughs> it's so hilarious. 
Love it. And again, she does the snaps, which mm-hmm. I love. I love the snap. And it's it's a light canvas. It's just awesome. She has, she's, you know, there's so many bag makers that are so talented. I know. And Nina is one of them. Mm-hmm. So I don't ever worry about promoting Nina. She, she's very consistent. Mm-hmm. Her product designs Speaks are for itself. consistent. I mean, and the sizes, this is enormous. I love it. I've got, okay, I've got three cakes of yarn in here already. I mean, I guess, anyway. But she was kind enough to include oh. an extra giveaway bag. And we've given Yay. away her bags in the past. No complaints. No complaints. And I hope you guys go check it out. She's, honestly, there's there's probably, what, 10 bag makers that we're, we're always ordering from. Yeah. Because we love them. And we always try new ones, new bag mm-hmm. makers. But there, there's something to say about the ones that have stayed around with us. They have, yeah. I mean, and there's always new designs coming out mm-hmm. and uh, new designers. But Nina's fabrics, I don't ever see anywhere else. You know, there's some fabrics you, you, you see on a lot of people's yeah. um, Etsy sites, which is fine. I still order them. Yeah. Um, but if you want original fabric from Australia, she lives in North, New South Wales. And she has a podcast. She has a podcast. Give me a crown podcast. You guys go check her out. She's one of those soothing people that you can yeah. listen to just... Very sweet tempered and well at least on screen. Maybe she's a royal raging bitch in real life. I don't you never know. Never know. Are you Nina? I doubt it. <laughs> no, she's very kind. Very sweet. Anyway, we'll put this Great. in the giveaway bin right Thank now. Thank you. And right meow. Meow. Right meow. So go check her out. Okay. Creepy cats. Okay. I have a present for you. Yay! Okay. I don't know which one it was because I've ordered one for me and one for you. But Laura of Knit for Brains oh. has been and an, and I ordered them separately. So, and they could be the same thing. I don't remember what I ordered. She has come a long way in her she shop, has. too. She so, really you don't has. know which is which? I don't know which is which. So, you're just handing me one? Yeah, I think there's... No, no, that's the shipping label. Okay, <laughs> I'll wait for you. Is there a card in here? So, her bags, she's she's been making them probably close to About maybe a year, a year now. Mm-hmm. But, they, um, but the design has changed. And I have it. to say, her first bag, she sent um, she sent you the coffee one and me the uh-huh, yeah. amazing uh, Disney one. I know. I have a hard time using it as much as I love it because the last time I used it, I was trying to get my project out and I punched myself in the face. So I'm a little mad at it right now. But that was one of her first bags that she ever made. And mm-hmm. so I'm super excited to, to see some of her new designs because I've gotten a ton of great feedback from other people. So let's dive in and see what there are. Oh, I love her stickers. I didn't even see because I just opened it. People always doing things to make me look bad. I know. Okay, whatever. Let me up our game. Okay. Point. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Actually, I think that one was with you in mind. It was. Look at that cute. So we got some teas with it. I think that was with you in mind. Oh, that's totally your mm-hmm. your style. So I ordered because. some bags. Oh my gosh, there's stuff in inside it. Yep. I'm guessing oh, I guess the, I show the one it. thing. Look at these cute she also, little boxes and I know. Stuff. Isn't that so cute? Okay, Kate, Kate oh you have gosh. to look at this, though. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at that's totally Tristan. I know. Which, two years ago, no, would that not was have not been. Me. She would have been like, flowers. Those are no. grandma material. So, because all oh of her orders, all of her bags, she sends a needle keeper as well. Does she really? Yeah, every single one. And she, I believe she has free domestic shipping as well. And oh my gosh, okay, this is... Honey, She's going to want us to do this. We have to do it. Oh, yeah. We, Crap, have, we to. have to do it. We have to okay. do it. Does it pass the head test? It passes, it passes the, the head, head test. test. Yes. And I think I got the medium... Whoa. Whoa, what has happened? Totally. <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff all over me. Um, okay. I think I got the medium size. This is a really good size. Yeah, this is really mm-hmm. nice. Because they're large the- size, like I could fit my whole body in. Long handle. Mm-hmm. Which and is the snaps, great. which I love snaps. I love the snaps. The cool thing about snaps, not only does it not get stuck in your knitting, but you can um, use it as a big, huge yarn, like yarn holder. Ball thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where you just pull the yarn out the top and you don't have to worry about it getting snagged in the zipper. Oh, are those um, Alicia's? Yeah. Did you get some? Uh-uh. Heather Alicia's, for me. Alicia's starting to make some polymer clay stitch markers. Yeah. They have a podcast. Did we already say that? No. Knit for Brains podcast. And um, Alicia has been, I know, experimenting with polymer clay. So cute. Those are way cute, Alicia. I love it. She, was, she ordered from me yesterday, and she, like, left the most 
su- the sweetest little message mm-hmm. on her order, and it like choked me up a bit. <laughs> She's so sweet. Well, thanks, Tristan. Yeah, so nice. So I got you that one. And These are beautiful, and I love this. I just love this fabric. I that's a really nice fabric. It's a super the plum, cute fabric. It's got that plum, yeah, gray dusty plum in the background. Yeah, I think this is where my sweater I'm working on is gonna go. And then Love it. Yeah, because they, they are big enough for a, a mm-hmm. you know for a fingering weight sweater. Yeah. If you want to so knit my sweater. I love it. Okay, cool. Right, perfect. All right. So my... go check them out. Uh, knit for Brains podcast and these beautiful bags, Knit for Brains on Etsy. I'm trying to see what I'm... What else do I have? I don't know. Oh, what I'll show a couple of things I got at Maryland Sheep and Wool. Okay. One of the cutest things that I got. I decided... Okay. Oh my god! So I decided that I want to I want to start collecting something. Not collecting. Okay, calm down. I'm not being a collector. I'm such a collector. You are at heart. At heart, but I've I don't do it anymore. I'm really good about it. But mm-hmm. um, I wanted to have a bag. I wanted to have. It gave us the fluffy, the fluffy model look. My hair's gonna pill. Totally. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, uh, I want something to bring back as a souvenir from places that we visit. But yeah. I don't want to feel like I have to spend a bunch of money or buy, you know, a, a bunch of mug. I'm having a hard time not buying all the mugs. <laughs> I had the chance to buy, like, four of the the Starbucks mugs. Mm-hmm. And she resisted. I resisted because I knew I'd have to carry them to, through the airport. But anyway, I decided what I'm going to do at every fiber festival we go to is I'm going to get a Christmas ornament or two. Mm-hmm. So the last one, I got those adorable um, little and stockings. And I got one of some of those. Mm-hmm. And then I um, I have the Starbucks ones that uh, I had bought, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but this time I found, oh my gosh, look at how freaking adorable that is. I got this at one of the vendor booths. Um, and it was, oh, I thought they had, oh, it does have their tech. Okay. It's handmade Christmas ornament, hand created by the Grazing Herd Sheep and Wool Company out of West Virginia. And then I got this one, you guys. That is a swift. That's so cute. Or I mean a... Nitty Naughty. Nitty Naughty. Look at that. So I got these two to put on my tree for this year. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully at Vogue Knitting Live I'll be able to find one. Yeah, hopefully you can find something. I will at uh, at Rhinebeck because that's where I got my little... Look how cute those are. And then they had garland. They had like I garland know. with little little tiny versions of this and on And like them. a wreath. And a wreath with a bunch of these on them. It was the really heck? hard to walk away. Oh my gosh. So those are going on my tree. Look at his little face. I mean, and his little legs. Okay. All right. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. That's, that's. Did you bring this? What? Um, did you bring your, one of these? Yes. Okay. We'll show those things yeah, in, in a minute. minute. I have one more present I got for you. Oh, yeah. I forgot there was... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So Listen, um, I didn't get you any presents this year. Because most this of the year? stuff... I mean, this week. <laughs> it was like a year. Everything I, I got was at Maryland. Mostly. Oh, no. That's fine. Okay. I just ordered a lot before we left. In the- ah! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like a ghost. I scared myself. Um, okay. So, Melissa of Honeybee Knits on... Uh, YouTube? Everywhere. <laughs> YouTube? She has a podcast, podcast and she has an Etsy shop. Um, but I ordered two skeins that she was going to be doing that all with. So and I've been trying really hard. To, there's candy in here. We like candy. I want candy. And it matches the freaking wrapping. I know. You guys. I love it. So I got you one and I got me one. But and if you order from me, you get a Ziploc. Just saying. It's true. Okay. Oh, my God. So, and look at the yarn. It matches all the things. Well, I think... Um, Wait a minute. There's more. Did yours have... Did you order that? No, it's probably just what she put in. Wait, let me... There's oh, something in Oh, it. yeah, because I ordered... Oh, I don't remember. Was it a set? This is I this think it was person. a collection. Okay, because this is this. Is oh, yeah, Stitching okay. Plaza. Okay. Um, Because ordering one was going to... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but so purple is the color for esophageal cancer. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't either. Oh, I'm just yarn. I'm holding this up now, and now Look I know. At this. And yarn. so, supporting Jessica's family, oh go to gosh. Ravelry and download your free stand-up sock pattern. So it came with a sock pattern. It did. This bag. From Stitching Plaza. And the yarn. So this is a cute little notions pouch from Stitching Plaza. Georgian. Which we've I've worked with in the past, mm-hmm. and I love her bags as well. This is so cute. And the the name of this colorway is called it's I don't know how to say it. S o u r i r e soiree 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 soiree. Is it soiree? Yeah, it's like a party. 
I thought that was spelled different, like S W A R E T. Mm mm. That's Swaret. S W A R A Y. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a spoiler, but I've been holding on to it for three weeks, so I think we're okay. It's, but look at how pretty that is. And it's um, eighty twenty. I've never knit with eighty twenty before. I have one time with I my like epic sock base, but is it a two ply twist? It's, it's a two ply high twist. Oh my gosh. Four hundred yards, a hundred grams. It's and squishy. It's super cute. It's so squishy. I love this. Oh, this will be a good you. pair of socks. But yeah, I wanted to. Well, this to, was a good cause. Yeah, I thank wanted to you. make sure that we could support her and her friend in yeah. that. So, um, I do think that she had to open up more spots for it. So I'm. That makes me super happy, and I hope that they were able to donate. Also, a, a, enough. Yeah, it also brings that. awareness to mm -hmm. maybe a, a type of cancer that doesn't get a lot of. Yeah. That there's not a lot of people talking about. You know, because breast cancer is very, you know, talked about. It's like but, a known but to esoph get checked. esophageal cancer doesn't just happen to people who no. smoke and chew. I mean, no. it can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. So but, that's I mean, so I sweet. love that is just so beautiful, and it's such a great representation. That's a gorgeous purple. I know. And I, I love, love that. I love this. I love the theme with it. That's so fun. What other purple thing was there? The bag was purple. Something else was purple. The stitch marker. So sweet. Well, thank so, you. Yeah, I got you that, and I guess these are all for me then. Those are yours. You get it. And the sock pattern. And I cannot remember. I feel really bad, but I cannot remember who the sock pattern was. Oh, sock pattern was by You Use Your Yarn. E-W-E-S? Yes. And I'm going to fold this over because I have a code to get it. So use your yarn. I need to undress this. I know. A little bit, it right? Has, it has some speckles <gasps> on it. Love that. I'm going to put that in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is pretty. Oh. She has some fantastic Oh, I see, I love when there's just, you know, random... Little bits of little personality. Bits. And sometimes the yarn or the dye just does that on its own. It'll just break and make little spots. But this one, it looks like she did it on purpose, which I, which is either way I love. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is so soft. I love it. I'm going to have to make something special Yeah. out of this. Okay. So that is your last present. Good job. Thank you. Know. You did good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was perfect. Um, and I wanted to give you an update on our um, anti-bullying campaign. Oh, yeah. I talked to, I just wanted to tell you that we were going to donate it to a peer, uh, our peer support group at our local high school. And I talked to Malin, who works there. Mm -hmm. They don't have it anymore. So we are going to find a new home for our okay. donation. So that's what we were waiting on. Yes. Yes. Well, because I needed to make sure I... I found the right person to give it to. Yeah. So I, I just happened to see Malin the other day and she's like, um, they don't, they don't have, they don't peer have mentor it. Group. They don't have the one, the peer mentoring group. I could probably still donate it to school, but I really want to donate it somewhere specifically, specifically for, for anti-bullying. Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyway, I love these kind of causes. We need more of them yeah, out there really in the do. community. So okay. there's a lot of things that suck. Life sucks in a lot of ways, but, but also life is good in a lot of ways. Like with this. Life is good. Yeah. I mean, bad things happen to everyone. I'm not going to do a heavy cream right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the next thing, do we want to talk about this? Yes. So I have a couple of them. I love them. Okay, so it needles up. So I think that's everything. I Oh, we yes. have one donation to the podcast. I have, and I do. I'll I do think I have second. one more thing. Okay. Well, we, wait, maybe I don't. Maybe I just have the things that we're showing that we got in Maryland. Do you want me to do my last one then? Yes, do your okay. last one. So we had a lovely viewer wanting to donate to the podcast. Oh. Um, to you lovely people out there. And Yay. so her name is Ashley. And let me pull out her. Oh, Ooh, my gosh. I got your DNA in there, honey. I'm going to clone you. What? Don't ever commit a crime. We didn't even right? talk about that. Oh, my gosh. And we will. We will. We're, we're going to need to. We're going to have a news so, update. So it's Gaddy Yarn Co. And oh, oh that's squishy. It looks squishy. That's beautiful. So she wanted to donate some yarn to the podcast. Which oh my I'm goodness. like, oh, look yeah. at those colors. We just did some uh, knit alongs and did some giveaway. So we need some more. That's that, perfect. Look at the little. Look at the, even together. You know what that, that reminds me of? It's my, what? It's my real car. The real car colorway I did yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, that old one. Except mine had, mine had more colors Yeah, in yours it. had some but different variation. I love that, that's, though. Those are such a bohemian. So beautiful. Combo, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This one's called Moose. Moose. Which I really like. Um, so it's a 7525 with 462 yards. Awesome. It's on her signature sock base. They both are. And this one is called You Betcha. E-W-E. 
No. no. Okay. So I'm like, EW what? E- EW, you bet. Okay. You? Anyway, moving on. Okay. So these are going to go in our prize box. And thank you so much, Ashley. These are gorgeous. They are beautiful colors. Now she has an Etsy shop called Gaddy. Gaddy Yarn Co. On Etsy? On Etsy. I'm going to check I believe. It check it out. Check it out. So these are going to go straight yes. into the box. Um, You're like right. breathing on my neck. Hi. Okay. Okay. Anyways, all right. So next, so, I did a row while you were doing that. I'm so proud of you. So okay. next, we did needles up, and we did get a few things, um, and we got some things for the podcast too to kind of broaden. We wanted some things. Yeah. Do you we have that here too? Yeah. Okay. All right. So first off, we both we were working at needles up, so we had to take shifts. This one's not from needles up. Yeah. It is. I thought from this her? was from our um, our fiber festival. Nope. Nope. You got one there though, right? Two. I got two there. Okay. 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 Never mind. The proof is in the label. Okay. So we went to um, needles up. Needles up. And we both. I think our first purchase was both these. I only purchased two things, and this was one of them. Yes. And so we both went to Fat Squirrel bags. As soon as I asked her, I'm like, which one did my mom get? And she's like, that one. I'm like, of course she did. That's, it has a cat on it. It has cats on it and it has coffee. I mean, more of it. And her handle. Which is removable. I know. I love the removable handles. That makes me so happy. But yes, I got this one. This is her medium bag. I think you got her large. I mean, look at those just little gnomes. This is not my color palette at all. But I love this. Yeah, it, but again, this is one of those prints that reminds me of like children's sheets. Yeah, from like the seventies and eighties, yeah. and I the colors that. too. Yeah, I, I'm a sucker for that kind of print. I love this. And so the I material is like a heavy. It's not like it's, it's like, like a medium a, canvas. It's like a, it's a canvas, yeah. But it's I don't know how. It's I feel like it's a medium. I love it. I really like it. And okay. then yours is the large. Yes, so definitely would hold. Lots of yarn. Lots of yarn. I've already used it. See, I was using it as my purse for oh, a minute right. at Maryland. I was like, I'll put all the things in there. Well, it'll fit everything. And it has like little, look at the, okay, look at the flower right here. I love those kind And of just detailing. these little details. And then this one's a little I love um, little the bag makers that take the time to like research specifically like what prints they want go above and oh, beyond to get them and while we're speaking of bags yes print getting finding something original i think because this market is becoming um so competitive very competitive for you bag makers mm-hmm. which um, breaks my heart because i know you guys are all you all do a good job yeah. but finding material a fabric that is original and unique even if you have to design your own find someone to help you yeah. design it that's going to put you above and beyond mm-hmm. but also can i tell you something oh i haven't shown this one yet put a tag on your bag yeah. i have a stack of bags and I, I like to rotate them out so that i give everybody exposure that yeah, has made bags. everyone a chance but i pulled out like five today out of my stack and i'm like oh my gosh tristan i don't know i don't remember who made this one there's no tag in it yeah there's no tag on the inside or the outside and I want to recommend put your tags on the outside. On the outside. And I'll tell you why. A lot of you put them on the inside, and I think that's great too. But if I'm sitting there knitting somewhere with a bunch of knitters and they don't want to ask me where I got my bag, they might just sneak over and look. Mm-hmm. And I'm always advertising for you. That's just my opinion. Not everybody agrees that's with that. That's a good opinion. I think my opinions are tend to be very good. Yeah. And I got you one more, though. Yes, you did. Bye, by Amy. Need Guys, that. it's like an abstract Harry Potter ish esque one. Yes. And I love it so much. And this is so this is the sock size. We got one in every size. Oh basically. my gosh, we totally did. So small, medium, large. So Amy, if you want to take a screenshot of this right here, you can use it for advertising. Yes, we yes. won't we won't here, we'll, you. we'll go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like she's ever gonna like watch she's this. like, who are you guys? <laughs> So she's sweet. She's and I nice. love this. And this has been housing one of my projects. So I'll show that. In a this minute. housed all my stuff in Maryland. And I haven't used this yet. And I need to because look, this is still so on here. Cute. And her, her fat squirrel fibers dot big cartel dot com. And then she also has a long of life of your bag. Please spot clean only. Oh, good. she has the fat girl. Sp- so the fat squirrel speaks. Why do I do that? Because you're evil. And me. I, it just flows. Up. It's just it's the way a it tongue tying thing. It is. Okay. okay. All right. So now n- more needles up. 
so we got we got something that we know nothing about that we know absolutely nothing about nothing. but we know that there are the classy, a lot of people out there classy squid fiber co people love yeah and she, her we got to talk to her and her husband the next day at um, needles up cool mm -hmm. couple such a cool couple. Cool couple. So, but we do not. Both of us, we do not spin at all. Secret mm. information. We don't even pretend to. No, nothing. Like I don't that. even want to because yeah. I'd rather be knitting right now. And if I get into another thing, I'm not gonna be knitting as much. Right. And I don't want to put that pressure on myself. Nope. So we got some giveaways for you guys. We I think they're to, called bats. They are, these are. bats. Oh I my gosh! So. Look at this. what's yours called? Behind the rain. Mine is called Galaxies Far. They're both I limited edition. Mm -hmm. Totally different. Okay, mine has Paul Worth. Black alpaca, nylon, mulberry, and tussa silk, 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 noil, N O I L, and Angelina. Or Angelina might be the person. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Is she's Angelina the sheep or a fiber? I don't know. Is it a person sharing sheep? See, and I got Ramadale slash CVM, okay. Falkland, mulberry silk, Firestar, silk, noil, and Angelina. I am taking it out. Oh, get the full effect. I don't know what it would look like spun up, but there are some glittery things happening in yeah, here. Yeah, I made sure. These were her Everything. one of a kind, and they were going to go fast. I think that's the Angelina. Because so if I was going to name glittery stuff, I think Angelina would be an That'd awesome be name. name. Look at us. We're such yeah. good models. I know. I love these colors. That looks and like my, one of my colorways. Color oh, I love these together. So, so here's the deal. There are some conditions to you winning this, and I'm making yeah. them up right now. Okay. If you win a bat of our yarn, well, it's not ours. But a bat of uh, Amanda's yarn, you have to post pictures of it spun up so we can see what it looks like because mm -hmm. we have no idea. Or you're not eligible so, or else, anymore. Or else we're going to come take Ever. it back. Yeah. We'll be and like, if you spin it up already, <laughs> better for you us, right? Cannot, you can't have it. We will come take it back. No, we won't. But at any point, because I know not everyone spins, if at any point you win one of our giveaways, if you want one of these instead, let us know. Or we might just do a separate thread like a spin randomly. Along. We might do a spin along because we don't know anything about it. I don't want to learn to spin. We don't need to do it. That's the cool thing about being the bosses. Don't you know? No. Uh, you don't. I'm a boss. That's the cool thing about you delegate. I'm a supervisor. You delegate. You're That's like, true. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you what I want done. You do it. And then we all get the glory. But until the point in time where we may never do a spin along, if you win a prize or one of our um, giveaways or anything like that, and you would rather have one of these bats as one of your prizes, let me know and we'll switch them out. So if someone just won for the Sushi We Shrug Along, if you want one of these, now, let me know. Now, to me, this is only two ounces, which is ha like uh, a little more than half of a regular skein of yarn. So it's like 50 grams. So they get full? a little more than 50. No, I'm just... Say this is how much I don't know. I'm looking at this going, you could probably knit, you could probably spin a sweater's quantity out of this. But no, apparently you could do maybe a little more than half of a skein. But I still want to see it. Yeah. Especially, Especially that one. I don't want to see it knit up. You don't have to show me that. I mean, no. you can't. I would like to actually want to see that. But I really would love to just see it spun. I know. These you know are what? gorgeous. You know who should spin it? Who? who K. <gasps> should Wait, we just keep these Doesn't she K? spin? Or no, or Deborah. No. You know who should? Audrey. She just bought a drop spindle. Oh, that's right. I'm just thinking of all my random friends that... But no, these are going in the giveaway because we already bought them for a giveaway. We should have... What? What should we have Gotten more to give away for people. We should have. Okay. And then did you bring this? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the longest so, segment. I know. But I don't care. Look how beautiful this if is. If we didn't do it now, we wouldn't be able to show off other people's goodies. No. So... We worked for Sue. We'll, we'll work for yarn. Okay. We will work for yarn. I was already getting Sue me. surprised us, and we weren't expecting anything, and she got us these beautiful one-of-a-kinds. Cozy toes. Wait, is that her... Ca what? That's her cashmere base. Cozy toes is? <gasps> I don't have her cashmere. I don't either. I'm so excited. Think. So she gave us some one-of-a-kinds. It Eat. looks like it's two-of-a-kind, Sue. Uh uh, yeah, either she made these specifically for us or these were the accidents. I like to think she made these specifically for us. I like to think these us. are for us. I don't think that's the case. And then... A grab bag of all of her um, intermission midi minis, I believe. Can I name them? Can you? Well, if it's intermission, I'm thinking I'm thinking um, Sprite because during intermission you're going to want to drink. 
This one's going to be bathroom break because you always have to go to the bathroom during intermission. <laughs> That's not this one. This one is having a cigarette. That one? Well, it's either this one or this one, but I okay. think this is more of a having a cigarette okay. moment. And the, what else do you do on intermissions? Get oh, candy? Call, check it on the kids. You can get candy. candy. Maybe we'll do get candy instead of having a cigarette. These, right? these are named. Yeah, that might be a good one. This Mom. is getting candy. This one's calling and checking on with the babysitter. Okay. 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 So what are they really called? Yes, because don't take your tiny, tiny, tiny children. Do you know the names of them? Yeah. Where? How do you know? I'm so good because I stock her shop. Um, so this one is, and I know this one because it fell, but I have. In one fell swoop? In one fell swoop. This is Clockwork Orange. And this is the one oh, colorway yeah. I wanted to make sure I got. That's And she right. gave it to me because she's way too sweet for her own good. So That's why I kept awesome. saying to Chelsea, I'm like, if you keep giving Here. your crap away. That way you can have more. Oh, thank you. You can make a bigger project. But I told her, if you keep giving your stuff away, you're not going to, you're not going to do well in this business, honey. And then Chelsea handed me another stitch marker. Um, <laughs> Cause we, so, we, I give away a lot. I know I do too. So this is, um, Clockwork Orange and I love it because I'm a total sucker for this movie. It's one of the weirdest movies ever. And so psychological, like makes you really, really think, um, just about the human psyche. And I love it. Oh my God. You would love it. It is not appropriate for a lot of people though. Okay. Just throwing that out Most there. Most of the things we watch and listen to are not. Before. Well, it's from the 80s, and so the standard of what was appropriate right. has changed and evolved they, they over the years. They didn't have PG-13 They didn't have PG-13, and I, I feel like we were, this I was, was probably on TV, and it had a lot of... If it was on TV, it wouldn't have had bad things. They I don't know. They didn't put hardly anything on TV back then. Okay. Um, I just know that I was exposed to a lot of 80s movies that were probably could have been they seen as inappropriate now. Oh, I... 70s i was my parents owned a yeah. video store i was exposed oh to a, yeah huh? i was exposed to many movies that i shouldn't have watched at i mean age i 10. think there is some nudity in this as well as some graphic words mutilation oh, and okay. um some violence and it's more of torture okay. for the sake of psychological observation those were legal back then yeah so there was a lot of psych not stuff. appropriate for everyone but me i'm weird and i like to watch things like that so <laughs> a lot of people are like that i know a lot of us are but i love this colorway i think it exemplifies it perfectly and i'm gonna knit something awesome with it great and this is purple people eater i know because i have it on yes DK. i did know that one this one i really uh, this one edward scissorhands is no. more neutral this one is well, actually edward scissorhands is great is this violet your no this might be violet your violet, turning, violet. Turning violet and this one she just brought into this collection because I think it, oh, Sue, I feel like such a stalker. I feel like it was crack on the sidewalk and they just changed it to something or. You would know too much about that lady's life. Be afraid, Sue. Be, <laughs> Be very, very afraid. afraid. <laughs> no, but she, ooh. I'm turning on our air conditioning. Thank you. It's getting warm. I am in a sweater. Sorry. You oh, you're in a heavier sweater. I am in a DK white sweater. And your hair is down. Yes. Um, but she put some of this in her suburban wrap and I love it. And That's, I think I like no, that. No, Chelsea put it in her Stephen West one, I think, but I can't remember what it's called. All right, my creep fest is over. Creepy but that was creeper. just so sweet of Sue yeah, to give us those, and I wasn't expecting it. And she's too, too sweet for her own good. And then we got some. We hung out with Chelsea. Uh, do you have her cake? stuff? Where do I have them? You better have them because I got you a really cool one. Oh, where did I put it? Hold on, let me think. I don't know where it's at. It's in my. I haven't even unpacked my suitcase from Maryland, you guys. <laughs> Me neither. I still. It's have some been stuff in there. go 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 since we got back. Seriously. Okay. So I, you'll have to just tell them. It's in. I think it's in one of my bags. I got her a jar of pickles. She got me a jar of pickles. I got her a jar of pickles. Marker. I saw it was the last one, and I remember you thinking that one of my jelly beans I got was a pickle, like a pickle, and you freaked out. And yes. I'm like, okay. As soon as I saw it, I'm just like, crap. She has that's to just have this. Cool. Yeah, a and it's jar? so beautiful, and I wish we we're going to have to show it another time or Instagram it or something, but it was beautiful. Let me think. Wait, well, here's my needles up bag. No, that's not my needles up bag, is it? That's yeah, it is. There's a lot of stuff in there. This it is might my, be in there. This is my old needles up bag, not my one I took Not your me. new one? No. Okay, so I'll cool. post pictures on Instagram. Okay. Well, first, Chelsea gave us these, and I think you're the noodle, or are you the cheese? I don't think we decided, oh, did okay. we? Okay. I don't, I don't remember. Think we did. But she gave us best friend pins because we're best friends now because she's so sweet. 
I'm her so, mom. Yeah, that's true. So you could be best and I'll be friends. True. I'm the best. There mom. you go. You are. And we're both Slytherins, so we're related. That's true. Clearly. That's true. Clearly. Clearly. Um, but I got you the pickles. Yes. And then I got me this cute thing of tea. I love the I little love, tea. I love the tea things. And this one, I think, is... Um, I want to collect the Starbucks mugs after all. I changed my mind. <laughs> okay. After seeing these little tea. This ones. one is a little martini. <laughs> I love that one. And she I got Meg so one of these ones. She had like tacos. Oh, I she know. Had, was it um, like uh, she not, had a chimichanga? Chimichanga, yeah. I was gonna say an She had a bowl of chowder. She forgot my bowl of Lucky Charms though. Apparently, it's in the mail. Does she know my address? She knows mine because I ordered from her okay. online. <laughs> um, Creeper, knowing my address, I'd give it to her. I feel like I have more of these at home. Because I ordered from her. Oh no, I have another one coming. I don't know what happened. I don't know either. I have more coming from her because I ordered before we went. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Love her stuff. Check her out. Y'all know who she is. Super, super, super. super. Fantastic. Okay. Is it in one of my knitting bags? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now I'm curious where my pickle is because I was. I know. Her jar of pickles. There's it's multiple. It's in my suitcase. It, there's pick eye. It's pickle a eye. pick eye. Pick eye. I have pick eye. In it must drawer. be in your suitcase. I'm not completely pack, unpacked either. I, I usually unpack like a week before we go on another trip, and then I pretend that my suitcase was empty this whole time. You do what? I pretend that my suitcase was unpacked the whole time. And I'm like, oh, I'm so on top of it. Look, babe. I'm already ready. I'm so ready. Anyways, okay. um, and then we had our fiber festival. Do you have anything else that you purchased? No, not that I can see. Okay, because Needles Up was tempting, and one that I, I'm really upset that I didn't get was Fiber Nip Dye Works. She had a bunch of self-striping yarn. She did, and I oh. I put one aside. I went around to all the booths before it started, and I'm like, I want this, and I put it aside. It said, hold that for me, and I'll come back for it. Well, she wasn't in her booth, so mm -hmm. I took one down, and I put it down. I'm looking around. I just laid it on the table, yeah. kind of behind stuff, and then I forgot to go back. And then she, like, cornered you later. <laughs> she sold it, and I cornered her, and I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm like, uh, Excuse was me. it? I put one aside. She Excuse goes, me. oh, is that what that was? It's gone. Yeah. Um, but I also got real quick. I did get tufted woolens, but I just oh I, was I did using too. It. But yeah. I already it's already in all my bags. Yeah. So sorry, I so. can't show that, and you can't smell it anyway. No, and it's that's just, the whole allure of it. Yeah, great yeah. price point, and yes, love the product. But Fiber Nymph was oh my gosh. She had so many beautiful self striping yarns, and I want one that's called Cake Pop, and I'm waiting because I know Meg got that one, and she was showing it off. I'm like, okay, I need to go get. Doesn't that it have one. like blues and? It has like speckly like yeah. confetti. Yeah. Like a confetti cake. And I want it in so much because I'm addicted to anytime I go to Starbucks, I pretend like I'm ordering for multiple people. So I get two drinks. I get a hot and a cold drink and I get like five cake pops. Who cares what they think? <laughs> and I, I love the birthday cake one and the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate one. And they know it's me because I don't know what the chocolate one's called. So I just call it chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. And they're like, okay. We know what it is. We know what it is. That's a menage of chocolate. Does it what? Do you know what a menage a No, I just pretended that I did for a second. A menage a trois. Menage a trois. Do you know what that is? Three people having sex together. Mother! We'll cut that part out. But a menage. <laughs> so you said chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. I'm like a menage a chocolate. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, you need to keep that in. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a blooper. Okay. Um... But yeah, I'm so sad that I didn't get any of her stuff because her stuff was beautiful. And I messaged her and I'm like, when are you, oh yeah, you're, you're putting more in your shop. And she's like, I still have like three events I'm doing and I'm not putting everything in my shop. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Her name is Lisa and she also does the 90% knitting podcast. And she's so talented. She is. She's a sweet lady. She made one for needles that was like eight stripe repeats or something like that. Okay. If you don't know, in case you don't know, let me ed educate you. Yeah. Educate. Self striping yarn. Is not easy to make. It's a bitch. That's why a lot of dyers don't you don't do it. Yeah, that's why I refuse to ever do it. It's time consuming. Mm -hmm. It is not. There's no easy flow. Mm -hmm. It's not like you just put it on a machine and wind it back up. No, nope. everything's done by hand. Yep. So I, that's why I, and I'm not gonna do it. Not but <laughs> it's not an option for me. Like, I might <laughs> dabble in it. I might try some just for fun. But I know she keeps saying I made some self striping. I'm like mm, have fun. I don't know how. Okay. I don't want to. But no, her stuff is beautiful, and I'm so sad because she also had fraternal twin sets. I didn't get any, and then she was all gone. We went in to help break everything down, and everyone's like, "Okay, we're done. We're out of here." We're like, I'm "Like, if it happened so fast, okay, everybody's gone." Wow, wow. But yeah, so those were the the 
those were all the purchases. I'm like, the majority of the purchases. Um, I think that's everything. I think I had, you know, tough ones, but I um, I think that's everything. I did really yeah. well. I didn't buy a ton of stuff. Yeah, we did. Like, we knew what we wanted. We Oh, wait, we have one it. more thing. <gasps> what? That. <gasps> Okay, so, okay, so. We, we went to the, the one big thing, because I got something from Miss Babs, because I found I found the, the skein of lobster legs that I've been coveting to make my sweater out of, because yes. I got one skein, and I need one more. I got that, didn't bring it. Um, then I got a bunch of um, knitters. Knit, uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm needles. Knitters, needles, pride, knitter, knit, knit, knitters pride, pro, zings. Whatever. Yeah. Knitting needles. And I have Andrew. to say, I have to say, um, I love the needle and I love the DPNs. I am not in love with that cable. That join sucks. Does it? It's so bad. And I still am going to knit with it because I love the tip. I love the needle. But there's an actual, like, divot. That makes it hard. And it makes it so hard to slide the needles across when you're knitting. I'm going to still do it because I love the needles, but I hate that cord. They, there needs to be Chiago is a the hybrid best. Chiago is the of best. all of these. Yeah, Chiago all around is the best so far. I have not tried Signature in the round, though. I haven't either, but Kay did get some I almost got. She got the interchangeables, and she said that that join is really well, good. Well, but she got some Signature single-point needles. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, the old-fashioned kind with has a little decorative end. Mm -hmm. I almost got some of those to try. Actually, I almost got them just to use as a prop. As a prop. But they were a little spendy. Yeah, fancy. They were a little spendy, but so beautiful. I know. And so it does make a difference. So, But Knitter's Pride, the Knit Pro Sings. Mm -hmm. Love the DPNs still. The DPNs Absolutely are great. Love the DPNs. Um, I'm actually using those for a few projects. We haven't even gotten onto our whips. They're almost as good as Signature. Almost. They just don't have the flexibility. They don't have the texture. Mm -hmm. But other or than the that, tip. other than that, they feel pretty much the same. Well, my I think mine are pretty close. Signatures are a quite, little sharper. Yeah, not quite as sharp. Um, okay, well, I think those are all of our things that we... No. I wonder what's in this. No. no. You got one? Oh, so wait. at the Fiber oh Festival gosh. that we did, that we went to, the Great Basin Fiber Arts Fair, yes. um, I got a couple bags. Yes, and then we got something at Maryland that we have to show. Yes. So yeah, all over the place, sorry. <gasps> Halloween is in my soul year-round, and we might have to do a timestamp for when we're done with all this. Uh, that's a lot of work. I it might cut out work. some little segments, okay. but um, but I got this these beautiful bags. So I got this one that's bigger. This is the one I went to very last to grab on my way out. She's awesome. And it's though. by Snickle and Mr. B. She's so sweet. She's so fun, and her bags are amazing, and they're so cute. But the cool part of her bags doesn't she? She has a lot of pockets in here. But doesn't she use fabrics that are um, like this? Got corduroy. This is corduroy. This is a corduroy bottom. Yeah. And I got this one, and then I got this one. That's cool. Which is the Headless, headless Horseman. Horseman I love it. Uh, velvet. With velvet bottom. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. I love it. It's so well made. It's so cute. She is in Ireland for two weeks. I like Ireland. So, she does not have her shop open right now, but when you get a chance, go check out her stuff. It... It's so nice. And this is a this is a canvas. Mm. So cute. This is my Mr. Rogers that my husband got me. Oh, cute. Because he's into <laughs> my weird my weird stuff. And so this has a pattern in it that I'm not sharing with you all. But this is the inside. And I could not walk away What do you mean you're that. not sharing? Oh, oh. It's so a design I'm working okay. on. Okay. So I meant the bag pattern. I like the pattern on the bag. Yeah, I'm not going to share the pattern on the inside of the bag with you all. Okay. Got it. Okay, so I got that. And then at Maryland. In we, Maryland. We were just about ready to leave, and there was one little row. It was raining. One little row we that we didn't hadn't go gone down. Section. Yeah, and we're like, let's, you know what? Let's, let's just do it. it. Yeah. It won't make a big difference. I'm like stumbling walking I'm so, like, yeah, no if I, sugar. If I didn't know we were going to be delayed overnight. I know. I would have just stayed longer. So we found this um, sweet lady that makes her own bags. And so we each got... A really, oh, this one has a pocket on the side. <gasps> really cool bags, and we didn't realize it when I picked it up. I didn't realize it anyway. That the inside of my ba bag, look, it's the outside of Tristan's bag. So we got fraternal and then twin the bags. Basically. Inside of hers is the outside of mine. And you're gonna see all the contents of my purse, but there's three great, awesome. And the name of her shop is on here. It's right. It's in called the Stitch Ups, and her name is Yasuko Monroe. She's so cute. And it's stitchups.com, and she is so reasonably priced. I bought oh this little tiny um, credit card holder to go with it. I think it was like 
three to five dollars. And then they come with little they come with chapstick, a, like, a little holders. chapstick holders. Oh my gosh. We were this was our most exciting purchase, I think. I know. I was so excited. We were like at Maryland, this is our most exciting. Because if you um if you like Vera Bradley, oh yeah. I've been looking for one for quite a while now, and then I'm so glad I waited. Vera Bradley's not cheap. It's, it's not cheap. Those, a bag like that would be over a hundred dollars. Yeah. And this is just such oh it's it, so good. This was half the price this for was less. worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Was so half amazing. the price for less or less. Oh, I'm like yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, okay. No, and the quality's awesome. Hey. Oh, so, and then I share one more thing. Holy cow! I know. Holy acquisitions. Because, and I'm kind of being mean because I don't think she's selling them anymore, but she may. But I did a swap with Meg. She did all of the dragons from How to Train Your Dragon, and I think oh there's a gosh. stitch marker in there, but I haven't been able to open it yet because I haven't shown it. Look how cute those are. That so, is beautiful together, though. I know. And I told her that we need to do, like, a shorty along me and her. So we're going to knit a bunch of socks together. Oh, fun. I think we fun. Shorties are fun, and they're quick. Oh, I know. I they're love so them. so nice. Anyways, okay. Okay, we should move on. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Should we move on to um, what we're sipping on? Yeah, what are you okay. sipping on, Mom? Oh, right now? Right now. Right now. Okay. I, well, I, I'm a, I have a half O. Half oh, H -O. okay. I have a hoe. <clears throat> well, kind of. I didn't weave in this end. Of oh, yes, I did. I'm like, <gasps> I know I weaved in the ends. This is what we hung it up at the show. That's right. We hung this up at our our fiber festival, in an just like way. this. It's it was great. all hanging like this. I I didn't bring my sock blockers, but this is made. Um, this is just a vanilla sock I made with my uh, pour some sugar on me from my hair band. I love that color. And so I I did some a hair band hair band sock set that um, I made extra skeins of yarn to take to our show. Mm -hmm. And I almost sold out, but I think I still have a few, I think I might have a three or four left. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw these in the shop, but it is fluorescent yellow with bright ass colors. Right. I love it. And so I'm working on those. I'm using my signature needles in a 2.5. Mm -hmm. um, so they're the purple ones on, I think these are the five inch. Five yeah. inch, yeah, and they're the stiletto tips, and I'm just doing. I did a two by two. I didn't change needle sizes either. I never do. Yeah, I'm just like I used to, but I just mm -hmm. thought no, I'm not gonna do it. I didn't change it for any part of it, so I just did a heel flap and gusset, and then uh, kitchen or toe, and it's housed in my awesome bag. And Gray Pearl Goods. By Gray Pearl Goods. Again, there's no tag on here, so I wasn't sure who it was by. Thank goodness Tristan knew. Mine had a tag on Yours has on a it. tag on it. Yeah, Mine I doesn't. Know what unless happened. I just don't. Maybe you pulled it off. Maybe you snipped it off just I to be defiant. Think, just so I could be mad at somebody yeah, for something. Yeah. Blame so anyway, someone. that's what I've got. That's nice. one thing. I have a couple hoes too. Okay. My baby socks. Oh my gosh. That is so <laughs> cute. So this is my Hunter's Moon colorway. <sighs> That is a beautiful one. color. Thank you. And then this is, I'm finally going to be able to, I was thinking this actually the other day, I'm finally going to be able to be done with my Galaxy colorway from Battle of Girls Studios. You've used that. But I have like, another skein of it in my stash. Like, <laughs> it's so pretty. I love this color. I think it's so much fun. I think she may have renamed this one and changed the Galaxy colorway. Okay. To something more pink. Okay. Because I think the one I have is a little bit more pink. So I have those two, and then I'm working on another one in my Medusa colorway, which is fast becoming actually one of my favorite colors. And one of your most popular ones. In person. In person at the yeah. show, yeah. Yeah, this one. This one went like hotcakes. It was crazy. It, it was. And I'm using my Knit Pro Zings, and this is actually on a 2.5. This was the only one I could find in Maryland, and I'm like, screw it. I'm getting it. Just going to do it. And I'm doing all my baby socks out of it because this gauge won't fit my foot. Oh, for that needle size? Yeah. Oh, God. So I usually use 2.25 on all of my socks, which is a size US 1, but I'm using a 2.5, which is a one point, size 1.5. So it US. doesn't make it too big for your foot? The gauge is a little bit too big. I okay. love the fabric that a 1 makes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, a little tighter. Yeah. I love so, that too. But I wanted another pair, and... <laughs> well, I'm a tighter knitter, so my, my fabric on the 2.5 is pretty good. Oh, yeah, that'd probably be perfect for And you. I dropped a stitch, so I'm just trying to fix it. <gasps> yeah. It's okay. I know how to fix it. I'm not afraid of it. No. You could even let it, like, throw it across the room and be like, I can't I'm that. not afraid of dropping a stitch. Now, if Try it was a, a design, like a lace or a cable. Brioche. Or bri I've I, dropped stitches in brioche. I can't even do I don't even know terrifying. brioche. Brio. Is this one mine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so. Hey, mom. Yeah. I'm working on one more thing. <laughs> okay. Do you, um, I'll go then because you. Okay, go ahead. 
Because, yeah. Because i got to fix this. All right. So I have one more hoe that is in my Give Me a Crown bag, which I oh. bought as our Stitches West bags. And I am using... Um, I'm making a bunch of socks for my family for Christmas, and thank God they don't wash this. So I'm using up my Volan Vine on her uh, BFL sock base. It is, I can't remember. Oh no, the I'm color. sorry. Yep, I don't remember the color, but I, I made, I designed the Pussycat hat with it, so. And BFL is awesome. And I love BFL. And this one I do know, because this one is Night Owl Fibers, and it is, Oh yeah. it was her colorway, and it's uh, Breakfast at Tiffany. And um, I'm using jewelry from Andre Sunitz. Andy, we love Andy. And so this is one of my new, just basic designs that I'm doing. And I almost got done with the second one and I realized because, you know, I'm cocky, I did one extra of these repeats around. And so when I went to do the heel, I put like four less on it and I almost got, I was turning the heel Oh no. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So it was, it didn't. So I tore it out it. with vengeance Ugh. and I threw it in my closet. But these are probably going to be for Marche. She'd like those colors. I think so too. And I like the, I really wish I put it in the, for the heel because just feel that hard wearing BFL opposed to the merino. Yeah, the hard wearing. so is, good on a heel. Yeah. So I think um, for BFL, if, because I'm not going to finish with this color because I bought two skeins of this and I'm going to make another sock with it. Um, I think I'm going to do a lot of BFL for heels, toes, cuffs, accents if I don't, like for an afterthought heel. Yeah. Which yeah. I don't love. You could do it for but a hard wearing. and gusset too. Yeah, but then it would different. only be like right here. Uh, it still looks good. I think, I it think still it's looks good. Cute. I'm just saying for hard wearing, mm -hmm. the other one covers like this much opposed to like yeah. this much. Yeah, you're right. So, you're right. I don't know. So that is my other hoe. And I have one more that I just really started last night. Oh, me too. And we'll both talk. Okay. Let's see. Because you know it's a it's a great pattern and mm -hmm. it's inspired. Uh, you inspired me. I think so I inspired a couple people to make it. I decided to start my Isabel Kramer R1 sweater, and that's how much I have done. When did you start it? Last night. Me too. Last night. Well, I'm talking like right before bed. I know. I started mine like nine. Yeah. So I, I decided to make it in just a jet black. And one thing I have to say, I'm going to brag. Do it. This sweater, I did not rotate skins. Yes, brag. I'm going to brag. I do a really good job on my tonals. No, on your solids. Well, my solids, yes, my solids. Oh, my, my God, Well, and yeah. my tonals. Your tonals are pretty, too. On my tonals, I because of the my technique that I use, um, they're pretty exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I think Michelle of Naughty Knitwits made a sweater out of hers, and she did not rotate the skins. Yep. And I think I had made her four or five skeins mm -hmm. of the same color. I just have a technique that I use that... Um, I don't do it and mine don't turn out good. So I works. do tunnels and not solids. Well, and yeah, I mean, well, and what is the difference? I mean, a solid means it's solid, right? So mm -hmm. like this is... This so is no my variation in the tone. This is my jet colorway. Mm -hmm. And especially if I know I'm going to use it for a sweater or someone could use it for a sweater. It's so hard to see black on there. It looks like... Well, it's... Yeah. But I try to I try to make them all like I might try to make like five or four or five at the same mm -hmm. time at the same way so that I can put them together for people if they want to use them for a project. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I when I use my like my blue one that I made my what was that one called the campfire campsite campsite sweater pullover didn't rotate skeins didn't rotate skeins and it was that was tonal and it was a tonal so you had the lines across but this I had one, the lines across this one there's you, didn't you rotate. can't even tell mm -mm. no. So, anyway. And then that one's on your black. This one is on my teacup. I love it. Which, as my mom pointed out, is very similar to this. But I don't care. Do what you want. I like it. I know I what I'm going to wear. Yep. And it's going to be fantastic. It'll, be, so, it'll probably look so much lighter once you get it done that I'll be like, oh, yeah. I think oh, so, yeah, too. Because really... even, like, this next to each other, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. But this is, like, a, a light lilac. It's one of my newest colorways. Yeah. A light lilac and gray. Super plummy. I love it. Dusty. Plummy. So much. Yeah. Yeah. So... I messed up on two of the skeins, so that's what happened with this one. I messed up on some of the skeins, so I knit a sweater. Yeah, this one ha will have harsher like accents like these mm -hmm. in it because um, it's it, dyeing yarn is seriously a science, and this one had a couple uh, little mistakes in it too, like right here. 
I can't even hardly tell. Yeah. There's Seriously. just a little bit of variation. So um, I'm keeping them for me, and hopefully I mess up on one more because this one takes three skeins. I'm doing that in my gray pearl goods bag. You always, let's see, that's so weird. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Anyway, so that's now, do you have more stuff? I don't know. Oh, yes, because I'm doing um, our summer sock along. That's why oh, I'm getting yeah. so many socks, but I'm also doing the fancy feet cal. Wait, you had a finished object of your socks that you finished at the Fiber Festival. You finished a pair. When we were in Maryland, remember you started at the same time I did? Where's that pair? I don't know. Do you remember which one I'm talking about? No. It's your, we were making them on the plane together. Is it the one that I was designing? I don't know. So I'm not it, showing it that might, one. It might have been. Um, cause I'm finding a few patterns. Sorry. But I'm using Kay's sock pattern and it is the butterfly kisses pattern. I'm using the colorway mare or the mare from Legacy Fiber Arts. And she's the crazy it's sock lady so and it's Kay Litton. Mm -hmm. on Ravelry. On Ravelry. And the... I like that. The two, I do too. This is my favorite colorway that Legacy Fiber Arts has. And the girls from Leg Legacy Knits podcast yes. are doing a fancy feat along. So doing a pattern sock. So I'm entering there, Cal. Yay. Yep. So fun. And that's in your that awesome bag. That is it. And this is Give Me a Crown. And this is Give Me a Crown. We like Nina. Oh, we do like Nina. Okay. Yes. And that is it. Oh, my goodness. Thank God I didn't bring my, like, four patterns I'm working on. 225. Well, some of that is, you know, yeah. beginning. We'll be okay. Okay. So, now what? I'm dying here. Let's do I'm dying here. We'll we, just, uh, we'll do it quickly. We'll do it quickly. Because we both did come out with some new colorways. I don't even remember all the ones I've shown before you guys have seen. So, yes. just so go if you check don't them see out. It, Goodbye. Yeah, we won't do heavy cream. We'll we, just, yep. This will be our last one. But we want to show, because some of these colors are pretty awesome. And some of our brands are spanking new. Yes. All right. And we're both going to be out of the screen for a second. I might have to just. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. You have a ton more than I do. I'll go fast. Okay. I promise. I'll I will fast. too. Because I do. I have like. Holy. Holy yarn. <laughs> On my vlog. Wow. I'll put mine over here. Okay. Do you want me to show a few first and then? Yeah. Well, I did, I dyed up my Handmaid's Tale collection because I've been watching Which Handmaid's awesome. Tale. And uh, I did, I actually did 11 colorways. I did nine originally and then I did two more, but... The very first one is this one I showed earlier. It's Under His Eye, which is reds, browns, and tans. Oh, that is on three bases in the shop right now. Uh, the next one is called, this one, oh my gosh, I forgot to write the names on them. I think this one is the, I don't know. Anyway, it's a tan one with green and orange, and it's in the shop. I think this might be the Nolite Te Bastardes Carborundorum, which means basically don't let the bastards get you down. Nice. Yeah, in Latin. Nice. And then we have, I believe this one is called I Love You So Much, Save Hannah. Okay. And this one is May the Lord Open, which is my favorite one. I do like that one. Oh, look at those. I love it. It's my favorite one. May I the Lord like Open. It's gray and peach base. Um, and this one is, this one is not called that one. This one is called, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. This is blues, so grays, and um, purple. Uh, this, I love this one. Yeah. I wish I had written the names on these. I know. Why don't you show some of yours? Okay. Um, so I have a couple tonals I just came out with. Like, uh, I have my cinder, I have my teacup, and then I have my dew drop. Pretty. That's a beautiful tonal. This almost was going to be this sweater, too. And it still might be. I don't know. So you got that one. Um, here is teacup skeined up. That rhymed. And I love this. I think this is gorgeous. I think it's perfect for fingering wet sweaters. And then... Tunnels are perfect to add oh. into your sweaters, too. I know. They're perfect for that. I can't remember if I showed this, but it's one of my favorite colorways, so I'm showing it again. I it's love it. Valkyrie. I love this one. And then I have... Not to brag, but I found the perfect rose color. Oh. 
So pretty. So it's called Rose Quartz, and only one person has got the geeky reference with it. Everyone else is like, oh, it's a nice name. But it's actually from Steven Universe. I don't even so, know what Steven Universe that's is. That's okay. Not a lot of people do. So that's my Rose Quartz colorway, and I love it. And this is going to probably end up being a sweater too, but I already did Feyre, uh, the Feyre colorway in a sweater. And I, I did like it, that one. And I'm like, I already made it with a pinkish one Pinkish mauve so. color. Yeah, so I'm like, I'll wait. And then... So this weekend I came up, because it's been a minute, because we've been a little busy, um, I am jumping back into my year of musicals. Oh, do you want to go? I'm just jumping down. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, my year of musicals, I've done sock kits, I've done single skeins, and this month I'm going to do single skeins again, and so I'm doing Lion King. Mm -hmm. So this one is called um, Fiery Lioness, which is in Ode to Nala. That's so beautiful. I really like this one. It's like a goldy orangeish I know. color. It's so fallish esque. Mm -hmm. I, I really like it. I think this one's really pretty. Um, but I'm biased because I really like all of them. They're gorgeous. Um, and then this one is Circle of Life. Look at those colors. So I love this one. I like the little that. <laughs> that. Um, and then my last one, which is absolutely hands down my favorite. And sometimes when you're dyeing yarn, you can get very scared and some things can come across really nasty when you add them together or you can intentionally do something nasty and it comes out beautiful. And that's what I did. So this is called Shadowlands. But it's perfect for that name. I know. And I love it so much. And so sometimes you get muddy colors, but these, these are all intentionally like this and I think they flow this is the one I'm gonna open up. Um I think they flow so well together. They do and I'm so excited. Because it has the this same cool palette. base underneath and little mm -hmm. pops of crazy in there. Oh. Pops of crazy are the best kind to have. I know. Cause you never At least know my crazies on gonna... yard and not any right. other things. So this is my or absolute just... favorite. I don't know what it's gonna be but I made some emergency ones for me just in case. <laughs> Good job. Okay, your turn. Okay, so actually, I told you the wrong one on this one. This is called Aunt Lydia. Okay. It's got, it's got um, a bunch of different colors, like oranges and burgundies and pinks. I like that. And then this one is the Martha's. Where did it go? This one is the Martha's, which is one of the more popular ones. It's got pops of a green in it, black, bright pink, and a gray base. Mm -hmm. um, this one, sorry, I have to look at everything. <laughs> I just did so many There's of so them. many. I get mm -hmm. it. And this one, I love this one. This is the I Love You So Much Safe Hannah, That's which pretty. is plums and blues and some uh, sagey colors in it and bright pinks. And then this one is called Autumn Freeze. This is not part of The Handmaid's Tale. This is one I just it's really pretty. barely did with my hair on it. Oh, love it. Autumn Freeze. Wow. So it's got browns, golds, uh, reddish colors on an aqua base. I love that. This one is called Berry Shake. So it's a, a dark rose color. Is base. that more one of a kind or are you going to make it again? I'm going to make it again. Okay. If, I mean, if people are interested, I'll make it again. It's, it's, yeah. I know how to do it. Okay. I did some one of a kinds, but decided to keep some. Um, is my hair everywhere? Okay, this one is called Offred. And it's again, it's like a violet base. Sorry, with violet and uh, bur like burgundy, burgundy speckles in it. Um, this one I really like. I'm gonna. I want to knit with all these. Well, like, you could. These they, they unplanned. A lot of these would fade together really well. I know. I didn't even try. Okay, sorry guys. I didn't even try. I didn't even try. It just happened. Okay, this one is the ceremony. I love this one. Ooh. It's got like. Um, smidges of bright blue and some peachy oranges and burgundies and purplies. Okay. Love it. And then this one, sorry, Vaughn and I, Vaughn helped me come up with the names. This one is called Blessed Be the Fruit Loops. That's a, that's a quote from the movie. I love that. So it's just got bright greens and some purples and pinks and um, a light, light, light gray base. And then this last one is uh, the Jezebels. That one is probably hands down. That one and the one with the black speckles are probably my favorite. This one's a really, I love I it. Like it looks that. similar to Ocean Mist, only mm -hmm. it's a totally different palette. Yeah. It's 
the ocean so it's is more, down mm-hmm. and oh, it's I more in the that. bright blue type base <laughs> mm-hmm. that's light but this one's more of a sagey color and i love that so, so anyway much. that's what i've oh i've got one more this last one is called um chocolate chocolate sunday i thought you had another one too i had three and like I a, showed the burgundy ish esque base that's the one i just showed you this this one nope oh i didn't show that one that one was a uh, mm-hmm. That was a mistake. That one I don't oh. know. Yeah, oh, I was okay. just showing you. I didn't like how it turned out. I should list it. Maybe I will. So this one is the Chocolate Sunday. It's a dark tan base with burgundy gold. That is pretty. And like a greenish gold in, on it. That's so in my palette right now. I love it. And I it actually that. fades with... I was putting it up against some of the other colors. I'm like, it's not, like even, not even trying. What? And they'll fade. Whatever. What? Okay, so that's all I have. That's all? Are you sure? There's not a million other things that we want to throw at them? (laughs) Nope, I think that's enough for this week. Oh my god. It's been a month, guys. You you, you gotta know this is gonna happen. Yeah, so we'll, I'll cut out some stuff that, you know, our extra pauses or whatever whatever. to make it. Like this one? Watchable. Okay. Um, But yeah, I think that is it for this week. Um, Two weeks from now. And I may have some cool, um, announcements we may have a cool collaboration announcement that we are working on right now Mm -hmm. with with somebody special and another announcement that you don't probably are not thinking about right now um but we um also will be announcing where our yarn is going to be at different points this year Mm -hmm. and um it could be near you and i may have a really cool announcement but yeah, that, one, that's, that I, one's going to kill one? all mine. No, but that one's going to kill all mine. I'm so excited about that one. Um, maybe, yeah, we'll see. And then we did want to announce that we are both looking at maybe doing two wholesale accounts I have, in yarn shops. We have mm-hmm. one that we're doing. Um, mine might be taken up already. Might, yours might be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, then I have two. So if you have a yarn shop near you that would you would like to stock Dragon Horde yarn well, I thought in. you already had one taken up. I have one taken up, but... Oh, I'm you were going to do a total of three. So a you have total two of open. three. Okay, mm-hmm. got it. So if you have a yarn store near you that you would like Dragon Horde yarn to be in, please let your local yarn shop know to give me a... Contact me. Give me yeah. a contact. Give me a contact. <laughs> give me an email. Um, just uh, message me on Instagram, and I'll give you my direct email. All right. Well, and we should wrap up because that yes, was a long episode. That was episode. a long effing episode. Thanks for stopping by, <laughs> and then we'll plan on seeing you guys in a couple weeks. Two weeks. Okay. All right. Bye. Oh my god. We know what it is. We know what it is. That's a menage of chocolate. Is it what? Do you know what a menage? No, I just pretended that I did for a second. A menage a trois. Menage a trois. Do you know what that is? Three people having sex together. Mother. We'll cut that part out. But a menage. <laughs> so you said chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. I'm like a menage a chocolate. Okay.